Hey, this is Gravelly Voiced Bry. I'm up too late, and uh, I'm here with Internet Phenom, Suzanne. Hi, guys. And we're here to talk to you about AdamandEve.com. Now, before you fast-forward through this commercial, there's going to be some very interesting information that you're going to want to stay tuned for. But first, let me tell you that with AdamandEve.com, if you order whatever it is you want to order, you're going to get 50% off almost everything. You're going to get three free DVDs. You're going to get free shipping. You're going to get a free sensual gift that's so fucking goddamn sensual that they won't let us talk about it. Once you get this gift, can you call me and tell me about it? I just want to hear somebody talking about it, since I'm not allowed to. All you have to do to get these special deals is when you are at checkout, what are they going to do, Suzanne? Please tell them. They're going to put in T-E-S day. And where are they going to put that? In the coupon code box? Yes. Yes, they are. That's going to entitle them to all those deals. Go to adamandeve.com. Uh, order what you want. Whips, chains, jellies, dildos, butt plugs, uh, sex chairs, sex swings. Kind of like what I saw on Pam and Edgar's room. But my Pam and Edgar? What? No, 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 not my Pam and Edgar. Let me think of something different. Let me think of smodcast.com backslash Naughty Susie. That's right. The pictures are up. Had you followed us on Twitter at BriWaltQ, uh, you would know this by now, and you could have been jerking off for days. But uh, we got some pictures of Suzanne up there in some Adam and Eve gear. And uh, lest you be disappointed that there's not enough skin, what's, what's going on, Suzanne? What's happening? Well, there will be more next week. Mm -hmm. And the following. Um, really? Yeah, we plan on uh, showing a little more each week. and Until we see everything. Well, I don't know about everything, but... We're going to see it all. So, stay tuned. Okay. Uh, and at the end of the show, when you hear Walt Flanagan say, tell him Steve Dave, this week he's not getting the last word. I've included uh, a bonus conversation for you guys that uh, we had before we even started. The show, Quinn just hits record sometimes, and uh, I don't know, I popped it on there for you. And after that, I have some <clears throat> additional, yeah, listen to my throat, though. I'm a real professional. I have some additional information for you about um, a bonus pod. So uh, go check it out, adamandeve.com, uh, go do it. Come on. Hello, this is Lemmy, and you're listening to Tell Him Steve Dave, which is a very confusing name. And I hate it. <laughs> I can't be auctioning off a black guy <laughs> at the stash. <laughs> 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 Puck nut number one. How else am I gonna fucking get away with shaving my legs exactly. and blowing guys? <laughs> because there's no way you're. Because there's. Tell him, Steve, Dave. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Tell Him, Steve, Dave. You're gonna be able to spit it out. By my home, eh? Yeah, you sound like you're already like... I know. Oh. I'm going by code name oh. Briaria Johnson this week. <laughs> 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 Fell victim to a stomach virus every fucking weekend. you are weekend. a fucking walking... Mal what's it called? Malality? What's it <laughs> Malady? Called? Malady? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's... it's uh, I'm a fucking wreck. <laughs> it, it's like every... You weekend. should just check, your, new. check yourself in, at least like to be, you know, like like to clinics where they like they do tests and like you go on like, a, you know, or like as test subjects uh -huh. and like wannabe doctors get to like. I'm like Mr. Burns. I have every <laughs> fucking disease that are <laughs> holding each other perfectly in check. We got here as a medical oddity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the man who has everything, who has, who has nothing, but he has everything. Yeah. <laughs> if you can believe it. Rich in disease, poor in everything else. <laughs> no man is poor who is rich in disease. <laughs> yeah. So now I sit here with my pants unbuckled to relieve the pressure. <laughs> on my, the get, one week I don't wear sweatpants. How'd you get a, uh, what do you got now? You got a stomach flu? I, some kind of stomach virus. Yeah. Sage had it and I took care of her on Saturday and then Suzanne picked it up and then late Saturday night I started feeling weird and then Sunday full blown. 
yesterday, not feeling so great, but today I woke up feeling okay, but then I, you know, came in, I got this thin veneer of sweat and bowels acting up. It might be my new way of eating, because I don't eat anything normal anymore. You know, like yogurt and cereals oh. and salad. Is it, is it, you make sure, I make sure the yogurt is it spoiled. Is it yeah. refrigerated yogurt? <laughs> yeah, no. I, I keep it on my backpack for a couple days. <laughs> <and> I, <laughs> I'm, like, yeah, I'm like, active culture. Well, I better kill them. Oh, wait a minute. Shit. So you have to eat yogurt now? <laughs> I don't have to. I like yogurt, though. Mm. It's just light. It's I gross. ate a roast beef sandwich. I threw up. I thought you were supposed to eat bland shit. Like, why don't you just have like, What's blander than yogurt? Have like some toast. Had some, some toast. Tea. I can't drink too much tea though, because all that the caffeine, oh, okay. the acids oh. from the tea. I meant like hot tea. Yeah. Oh. Mm. I don't know what to do, man. I gotta get it. I can't even get a diet di- designed by you because you eat pizza and chicken fingers. I uh, bake chicken. Yeah. You can eat baked chicken, can't you? It's bland. You can bake me some chicken. Who bakes it for you? You can go to Quest the Market. They Debbie? got, they got uh, yeah. baked chicken. Let me come over. Just bake me some chicken, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, here with Walt and BQ. What do you want to talk about first, boys? We got to screen Red State, despite Ming's many restrictions he to avoid, policy. He couldn't avoid it any longer. He couldn't put it off another day. We got him. Valentine's Day was yesterday. What did you do for Valentine's Day, Q? Uh, I, I worked. Worked? I was in the uh, Manhattan in the office uh, during the day, and I got home like 9 o'clock at night. I watched Deadwood. I've been watching. I've been rewatching Deadwood. Walt doesn't like to hear that. Yeah, no. Fucking okay. great show. He said he's rewatching Deadwood. What did you say about me, though? You don't like to hear that. Every time, like, hey, I was rewatching Deadwood. You're, what? Uh, Watching yeah. it for a second time. A second time? Was it like your tenth time? Uh, it's, I don't think it's that many, but it's above five, definitely. It's yeah. a lot. Just not allowed anything out there you haven't seen that you want to watch, huh? Watch, no, watch Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that shit. <laughs> no, well, I, I got the first season of Justified, that new Timothy Oliphant show. Yeah. And it, and I watched the first two episodes and I was like, it's almost the same character. Oh, really? So I was like, you know what? Let me go back, watch Deadwood, then watch Justified and pretend it's his grandson or some shit like that. A little continuity in my mind. That's good for you. Yeah, any excuse to watch. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's good for me rather than having human contact <laughs> yeah. on Valentine's Day. You're home locked up making <laughs> shit up in your, in your head. <laughs> Play time with Q. Uh, cried myself to sleep and here we are. Huh. Walt, your romantic dog. I know you did something awesome. What'd you do? Uh, what actually, did you do? No, nah, it was a school night. We didn't really have any coverage, so we just really stayed home. You could have called me. What's that? I could have called me. I would have watched your girls. Just been like, if you need anything, I'll be in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah, but my wife. You considered it for a minute and then. But my wife also has school the next day, so, you know, she's uh-huh. got work. Did you get her anything? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What'd you get her? I got her some earrings. Ooh. Coach bag. Got another coach bag? Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> I got, uh, I got Susanna's zombie portrait. Oh, that's right. That's fucking good looking portrait. From, who? from Mike at Wonder Brothers. Is it wonderbrothers.com? Yeah. You can get your own zombie portrait from him if you want. Holy you shit. You can commission Mike to paint it. And it looked great. She put up her, the picture on her Facebook. It's funny how you two fucking jumped on me when I pimped Mike's website I a few months back. On. Yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> no, I didn't. All right, we'll go to the tape on that one, I guess. Well, that was but before Mike had done something for me personally. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it was before I needed him. <laughs> Those zombie pictures are worth getting, though, man. They're fucking. They are. If you want a unique gift to to give somebody, yeah. Most girls probably wouldn't want that. Would Debbie want that? No, hey, I got you a zombie portrait all. yourself. What nope. about your girls? Your youngest one? I bet you she'd like it. Uh, she likes monsters she might, and yeah, horror. Yeah, she might like it. Elements of horror. She likes that kind of stuff. Since I was still ill, we uh, sat on the couch and ate yogurt and watched a movie from 1974 called Rape Squad. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Nah. It was. It's also titled Act of Vengeance. A little more palatable, I guess. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> the basically, rape it squad. was. Yeah, it was the Rape Squad, and um, basically, it's these girls who have each gotten raped, All right? And they're in. They're in like this. Uh, help group like a support group okay and they uh they're like well fuck feeling bad and all this other shit so they learn some martial arts and then they go out and uh start tearing it up Hmm. like they one girl meets a guy at a club and he brings her back to the house and i guess they give the guy the chance to not be a cad but when he's a cad uh she gives him a couple kung fu chops 
lays him out and then goes and opens the door and like eight more girls pile in and then fucking tears apartment to shreds. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> funny actually. They like smash his LPs and oh, no. all his vinyl. Yeah. They, one girl tears his poster up, that kind of stuff. That's and then they pour uh, blue paint all over his cock to mark him so other girls will know. Really? For, but well, I mean, the for guy's three rapist, weeks. So it's, <laughs> for the next three weeks, girls won't, won't yeah. touch his Smurf dick. One thing about the movie that, well, there were a couple things about the movie, but <laughs> right. it, they did like graphically show rape, which I thought was like, well, this is kind of the opposite. Well, it is the fucking rape squad. <laughs> it is the rape squad. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? You're like, well, yeah, come on, Suzanne, show- let's sit down on Valentine's Day. Oh. Wow. I didn't think there'd be rape in this one. Hmm. This is surprising. All right. Well, let's just see if it stops. <laughs> Maybe they'll quit it after a while. It's funny that it's just like, this guy's a rapist. Let's rip his posters. Like, they're like, yeah. They're not- well, they, to- they tore it. Well, they pretended it was sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid right. in the jar and so when they poured uh, on his cock. So they still but do- you wouldn't have felt that bad for him if, no. if they did do that. But the whole thing is like this guy who dresses in a... What starts it is there's a serial rapist going around and he has like a jumpsuit, Mm -hmm. like Jason, I mean, like Michael Myers and a hockey mask, like Jason Voorhees. Jesus. And he makes the girls sing jingle bells as he's committing these acts. They never say why. Hmm. Even in the end, you never find out why he's doing this. Something happened to him as a kid, you assume? I guess so, you would think. that Probably at Christmas sort of, time. <laughs> I'm assuming so, yeah. Or, you know what? I mean, Pam listens to Christmas music year-round. So if you know, he had a mother like her. Hey, What's is she really? Oh, I'm not kidding around. Yeah, it could be July. And she'll be cranking like Christmas tunes and shit. Okay. Like when we were young. What? No. I'm just saying that check is strange. Check your closet for yeah. fucking hockey masks. And, yeah. that, I mean, yeah. what, I mean, No, check mine because I'm the one going crazy <laughs> yeah. listening to that crap as a kid. Do you ask her why? She just likes it. She's like, there's no reason you can't listen to it all year round. No, there's no reason you can't. Of course, there's no reason. Sure, there's a good reason. Normal people don't do it. <laughs> I listen to Tom Petty's song sometimes. Christmas song? Yeah. Yeah, it's on a, on a road. You don't listen to exclusively no, Christmas no. playlist. Not at all. Or put on like Christmas albums. You li- I have two Christmas songs on my iPod. That's it. And if they come on like and it's not Christmas time, bang. Boom, they're off yeah, immediately. Really? Yeah. I understand. Yeah, it's I have like time. um this guy Gary Hoey. Um, he is like a, uh, like a metal Christmas album called Ho Ho Hoey. It's like 30 Christmas tunes on it, but I don't play it if it's not Christmas time. Mm. Well, you know how much I love Tom Petty. And Christmas. Fucking and, Pam yeah. Jr. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. So Red State. Should we get Ming over for this? Yeah. yeah. Let's do our, let's do our, our thoughts, then bring him over. Okay. Now, Red State, in case you don't know, should we, we're going to tell people if there's spoilers, right? We're going to try to steer clear of spoilers. Steer clear of spoilers. I'll just tell you, here's a big one. Red State did it. He's the killer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, that's not true. Um, Red State is these three horny teens. Uh, well, wait a minute. That's, you're telling them. That's a spoiler. That's a spoiler? No. Yeah. You're setting up the premise of the movie, how it begins. Right, but that's already online. Well, not everybody... Not everybody who's listening to this goes online, do they? Uh, I mean, if they have to, if they're downloading our show. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if they don't want to hear this part, then... You know, well, right, that's all right. That's just the setup for the movie. You think saying that they were horny gives too much away? Three teens, I'll say. Okay. All right, three teens. Right. Um, uh, go online to a Craigslist-like uh, website. Right. And uh, set up a sexual rendezvous with some woman. Mm -hmm. And uh, it turns out badly for them. Because the woman isn't all she appears to be. Somehow they end up in the clutches of a uh, a Westboro Baptist type church group. And our main character is uh, Eben Cooper, who's a Fred Phelps. Sort of like character. Walt, you thought Haven Cooper was much too liberal. I heard you saying that plenty of times throughout. Haven <laughs> Cooper doesn't like gay people, it seems. At all. Uh, no. Really against gay people. What the fuck? I, I, I don't, personally, I just, I don't get it. Like religious people. There's tons of stuff in the Bible that really doesn't apply so much anymore. Right. You know, like slave stuff. Like if you beat the fuck out of your slave and he doesn't die within a day, it's all good. It seemed to me that he didn't feel anything was was out of. He had his family in line. Fucking. David Cooper? Yeah. 
I think he was old school to the max, bro. I think if he had a slave and he beat it, he would have been all right with it. Oh, yeah, for sure. But they, they were focused on gay guys. Yeah, very focused on gays. And um, aberrant. Well, aberrant sex in general. Like, is that's why they... Uh, oh, they called it the Devil's... Devil's Playground? Yeah, something like that. No, the internet was the, the Devil's Playground. The Devil's Playground. Right. She had a computer in her room, one of the girls. I was wondering if she was hooked up. She was online. If she was searching she, the yeah. triple W. I bet she's got filters on that. Yeah. Yeah, Evan Cooper's not. You got filters on your girl's computers? I don't know. I don't even know what a filter is. Like to keep them away from porn sites. Like you can pretty much filter out like all oh, adult yeah. oriented stuff. Uh, it's not built into it already? No. Then probably not. <laughs> <laughs> you trust them? Uh, I trust them, but I mean, it, you, it, that stuff could come up doing that. Doing, I guess at any, you know, by even by accident, you know, right? What do you mean, like a? If they're doing like because like I look for like if I'm looking for an image of something, mm-hmm. I was looking for um the other day. Rape squad. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for a profile of um a black man, a bald black man, <laughs> to draw. Right. Right. The profile. He's the profile I mean. Walt's one of the 40 teens I was talking about. <laughs> no, like, you know, I mean, like, Ooh. when I mean profile, I don't mean a profile of the man. I mean a profile like he's turned his face in a certain direction. Sure. <laughs> not measurements. And yeah. Not with likes and dislikes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and when I typed up that, like, um, usually I'll go to like stock footage sites. Right. But I just typed it into Google Images, and some of the stuff that came up was was horrendous. So yeah, so I guess black fire hoses and shit. Yeah, so like that could just happen. Like that was an accident on my my. You know, I didn't. I don't have a filter. I thought we had a filter here, but we obviously we don't. (laughs) Bro, if I had a nickel for every time I stumbled on a big black cock (laughs) in the streets, alleyways, back alleys, yeah, exactly. Backseat of your car. (laughs) (laughs) In my bedroom, is Edgar slash Haven Cooper knocks the door in. I can't walk four feet without running into one of these. Yeah. <laughs> I was just looking for a profile, I swear. <laughs> uh, oh, really? So that popped up. Yeah, it's, a word, it's the inclusion of that word profile, I bet. Yeah, yeah. Well, bald, black. Beautiful. I didn't know. I just mm-hmm. I wrote profile, bald, black, man. Heavy, too. I needed him to have not fat, but like. <laughs> Picture of me came up in blackface. <laughs> <laughs> I needed him. Um, I needed it. Um, like, oh, no. <laughs> like. Um, <laughs> Not obese and not fat, but just kind of like, you know, stocky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but. What's this for, by the way? I just look doing something. Yeah? A little side thing going on? I'm not aware of. Oh. Maybe. Holy shit. I can't but anyway, blame secret yeah, I stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, so, no, no filters. I guess I'll have to work on it. I have to buy these things. Yeah. Ming can help you. Ming can do it. Well, mm-hmm. Ming's a fuck up. <laughs> I'm going to say it out there. I feel bad for Debbie Chen. I'm going to have to ask him what he did for Debbie Chen for Valentine's Day. Mm. <laughs> Nothing good, I'm sure. No zombie portrait. I put the, uh, had to ask Walt to put the auction up for the wristband. Oh, yeah. How'd it you go? Know, it's, it, uh, it's still going. It's like up to 78 bucks. Oh, that's good. I sent a picture. Ming didn't put the picture on. No, actually, I'll defend Ming on that one. We, he was here with me. He came over and did it with me. Mm. We put the picture in, and for whatever reason, it didn't. We did, because I saw him put the picture in. Oh, really? And then it didn't work out. I don't know why. Hmm. There's not, there's nothing to be taken. And then you're like, fuck those fucking cancer kids. I'm not going to spend all day on this shit. Uh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I was like, I was like, it's up there and it's people are bidding on it. People bid on it. There's nothing to do now. I can't go back and, and, um. You can't put a picture in now? Well, it says you can't revise an auction now. Once Mm. some, once a bid has been placed, you can't revise it. I might be able to add a a photo. You accidentally put your black guy profile in there. (laughs) 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 Can't revise the auction. I can't be auctioning off a black guy. (laughs) Stash? (laughs) This is going to be shitty for business. But, you know, to be, to be in Ming's defense, and, and you know, I hate to defend him. You hate to defend Ming? I hate to defend him, but in his defense, he, uh, he, uh. Ming's got some answering did. to do. We got yeah. a letter from somebody, a Ming hater. Did you happen to read it? I think I read this, yeah. No, you wouldn't think you would know when you read this. <laughs> yeah, most people fell on Ming's side of the fence about the disc, which I thought was like, obviously, when Walt says that he wouldn't trust, like, cause we asked, like, would you trust me with it? And you're like, nah. It's like obviously all that passion and fervor was was not like you were hardcore like fucking Ming. You're a dickhead. I, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I, I was definitely. Um, 
annoyed. I was definitely like I, I took it out on Ming. Like I, I definitely felt like, carried it carry it with me to this day. I feel it's I feel it like somebody wrote it was sad that I, I was actually I saw I was, that. Yeah, I was I saw je- that. What am I jealous, jealous and or, sad? Yeah. The only thing that's sad is that he thinks a guy mm. who knows Kevin for twenty three years is going to fucking somehow torpedo his and new dupe movie. It. Like lose that it. that to me is sad. And um, I'm Ming's sorry. the jealous one. I'm sorry. I I I feel <laughs> that uh, it's a tough one to swallow on my on my part, and, and and to be like and to like not let it bother me. I saw you tweeted back to somebody too. Somebody called you angry and heartless and or cold hearted or something. A little jerk. I disagreed with that stuff. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't hear you. I didn't see you write anything. You disagree. Well, you had already defended it, so, so what? Like, yeah. What Walt says. Well, you can, yeah. So you can uh, write a, a, like a like. Uh, well, yeah, it was coming. It it, solidarity. It was hot on the heels of you saying you wouldn't give me the disc. So I was like, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um. So this Red State movie. Right. You recommend it, Q? I mean, I don't know what we can say, what we can't say. Well, I mean, the thing I will say this: like the, coming into it, I was like. What if I hope I like it? Like, God forbid, it's like, God forbid, I'm like, uh, for whatever reason, it just doesn't gel with me and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, that's kind of awkward, but that's not the case. Like, I was gl- like, I was you like, like oh, yeah, yeah, I liked it. I'm looking forward to now seeing it with an audience March 5th at uh, Radio City Music Hall. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go. You going? Sure. I'll go. Yeah. See, I have fucking gastrointestinal <laughs> problems, man. Cracked a rat. I know. I can't, I can't run to the bathroom every two seconds. We got a sure show to can. fucking complete. You'd rather I do that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. They're not smelly though. I don't think. We'll find out in a minute. Um, it's hard because I want to talk about the ending and I and can't. That would be. Can't talk yeah. about the ending. According to Walt, can't talk about the beginning. I was happy to see Kev put some tits in it for once though. I started fucking getting hard. That's actually why I had to unbutton my pants. When they were looking for the girl for the sex. Oh, okay. Was, <laughs> oh, the picture of tits? I was yeah. like, did I fucking miss something? It was a picture of tits on it in a movie. Right. <laughs> right. It's yeah. the closest guy's ever come, though, I think. No, um, there was tits and more rats. Mm-hmm. I will say this, though. I, I wouldn't call it a horror movie. No. I think there are horrific elements to it. But when you think horror movie, you think like, uh, like, Friday I think the 13th. Freddy, yeah. You think Freddy. Well, would you consider Devil's Rejects a horror movie? No, not really. Oh, okay. Nah. That's a good example too. If that's a horror movie, then I would I would say this could fall into that class. See, I, I, well, my feeling is that like I like I hope that the um the hoopla surrounding the release of the movie I hope it doesn't overshadow the movie cuz like to me that is not like that you're you're missing the point cuz they like the movie I liked it so much I'm like but I don't know if anybody's going to be like is it more about how he released it or is it about the actual content right. of the film? Mm-hmm. Because that's the most important thing. Or the people that were like, I, I went on IMDb and I was looking to see what people had said after he screened it in Sundance. And people are offended because they're like, not all red states are like this. It's like nobody fucking thinks that. Nobody thinks that anyone who lives in a red state is a crazed, super conservative, <laughs> uber religious douchebag. Uh, I also don't see how he can be like – how he can make that movie put out – like see – the fruits of his labor, make that film, watch it, and then be like, I don't want to do this no more. How could you do that? How could yeah, you be like, I don't, I don't how could you be like, either. oh, I don't want to do this no more? After you put out as something like that, you put out that quality of something, and then you're like, I don't want to do it no more. To me, that, that's like, man, you can't stop now. Maybe he'll change his mind after the next one. He did show a lot. I would, like, if you hadn't told me it was his movie, I wouldn't have guessed it was his movie. Yeah, it looks very like, um, like just so like, different than anything he's yeah had, dave yeah. did a good job shooting it yeah. it looks it looks amazing it's very well shot lighting's really cool and shit i was dismayed by the lack of jane silent bob i thought they would show up at <laughs> some point <laughs> be tied into dogma somehow like yeah, yeah. fucking religious angle <laughs> but i mean i don't i don't know what we should and shouldn't say i mean obviously you should go see it i'm sure people will see it but i don't want to say too much because there's a lot of good i mean there's shit that i was like whoa I yeah, can't believe that happened. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Like, you don't, don't, don't sit. Like, yeah, sit there and go. Like, oh, I know it's going to happen now. 
No, do that. A... No, go ahead. Go, go ahead and do it. Do it, Quinn. Because yeah. you're going to be wrong, bitch. <laughs> yeah. well, I've, I've seen it, so I won't be wrong. We could, we could tell you were doing it, though, when we were watching it. I, was like, huh. I could tell by your face. You, right were, like, you were thought you were just were like, I'm so two steps smug. ahead. Yeah, so smug. Oh, oh, no, well, it's now I'm two steps back. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Can you rewind it? <laughs> I, it didn't Actually, isn't that the act opposite of what I did in the end? Because I was like, oh, my God, is, is this... I can't. I don't want to say what I thought it was. Yeah, because I mean, I too at the like towards the tail end, I was just like, "Holy oh my shit!" God, right, right. What's going on? And then you remember the budget, and you're like, "Yeah, it's probably not going to happen." <laughs> <laughs> I really, I was like, I, I couldn't tell you what was going to happen. I was so like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, right. this is going one this or two is going, ways. <laughs> either this is going to go like one way, and you're going to be like, "I can't fucking believe it." Or, or, you had one eye on the TV and the other eye on insolent Quinn being like, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely one, like, definitely a movie where you're going to be like, wow, you're not going to, you're, you're going to think you know what's going on. You know? A lot of familiar faces too. Skyler from Break, from Breaking Bad. Mm-hmm. And that, Deadwood. That chick, um, Steve and Root is in it. I mean, fuck, I'm not going to say your name and everybody because you can just look it up on IMDb. That dude who played the preacher man though. He was great. Was uh, Michael Parks. Yeah. yeah. He was really good. I thought his, I don't know if that was his daughter, but the, also the lady who played the, uh, um, the one who kept calling him bait. daddy. Yeah, the one she liked the, the uh, trailer bait. Mm. Yeah. She was your she favorite was part, right? Excellent, man. Yeah. 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 Her, I just loved you her kept... look and her. Should I be tone. concerned that that's Suzanne's Facebook profile name, trailer bait? She just tells me to shut up. Yeah, I was, I was very, very taken with her. Yeah. She was awesome. Would you go for the trailer bait? At any age? At a certain age, yeah. You said that, yeah, because I brought that up. I was like, she's not exactly at 17 or 18 what would you what you would think of as like, oh, my God, I'd love to fuck her. Um, I don't think but, it's my like – it's not a matter of falling in love with a person. <laughs> maybe for you. But, then, <laughs> but I think at that age, it's like, hey, man, we're not getting any here at school. Not getting any at school. We Let's do what we got to do. Well, the one dude had a fucking really out of date 90s, like even late 80s tail. And that's what they jean do shorts going in, on in that part of the country no? and cooper's doll that's the way they dress in those midwestern states yeah i, I mean you heard it here first i, I saw, it, I saw <laughs> all it. you midwestern <laughs> listeners i saw it, uh, your tails i was watching and, a college football game in the, the aggies and uh, everybody had a tail everybody had tails uh, yeah. huh huh you learn something new every day <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's why maybe he wasn't getting no, maybe he wasn't getting no tail because of his tail because, <laughs> because. The irony of the tail preventing tail. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, if I, you're I telling agree. me mm-hmm. like you ain't had none, mm-hmm. right? 17. You're asking the wrong I got, guy. I fucked a fucking total slob yeah. All right, into well, my well, 20s. Wait a minute, but wait a minute though. So why are you being like, so why are you coming down and being like, I don't know if I could do her? Because, because it was, it's a different situation. It was like, for me, it was one on one and I was like, this is going to be fucked up and I can tell oh, people about this. It won't be fucked this. up if three of your friends are. are so me, you and Q, are we're, we're 18. We're, we're young, fucking hot blooded, red blooded studs in the Midwest. And I'm like, Walt, man, I went on Craigslist. All three of us are going to fuck this broad at the same time. You'd be down? I wouldn't be down for that, no. No, I didn't uh, think so. No. You, got, you guys got to give me from my own trailer time. Really? Yeah. We got to wait in the car. Yeah. All right. That's fair. <laughs> I drove you there. Actually, now I know this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you paid the cab fare at best. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Red State. I mean, I don't know how much more we, should, we, we can say. Well, enthusiastic review would mm-hmm. be maybe forthcoming if we were allowed to talk about it right we'll wait till it comes out then we'll do our official review right spoilers well, I mean- spoiler alerts all that kind of stuff kev tried to uh get on stern for red state have you heard of this stern controversy well no you haven't followed it neither is q uh i've read kevin's tweets on it i haven't mm-hmm. like gone delving into the particulars kevin hasn't been on stern in some time since 2002 i guess somewhere around there i think that was the last time he was on and he went on for uh Evening With. He was trying to promote Evening With. And before he actually got on the show, and I remember I was living with him at the time over in uh, Oceanport, and I was listening to it, and um he started talking about Kevin as if, like, Kevin were some weird, like, fanboy who won't stop calling and trying to get on the show. And uh when Kevin, they finally connected him, Kevin was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I haven't been, you know? 
I haven't been doing that. And then they're like, well, Gary said you keep calling. And then they're like, well, maybe it's your publicist. Like they started like, you know, changing their tune as they often do on that show. And the rest of the interview was kind of like not that great because you could tell Kevin was like, what the fuck? You know, like it's a weird thing. And right. Stern sort of brushed it aside by saying like, well, Kevin, you know my show. And it's like, well, yeah, I mean, you treat people like dickheads sometimes, but lots of times you don't. Right. You know? And then I guess recently Kevin tried to get on the show. He tweeted and, uh, you know, they, uh, they didn't respond right away or whatever the case was. He didn't go on the show Wednesday, which is the day yet available. And <clears throat> they were talking about him again on the Stern show the other day. And, and this time it was like, uh, Kevin was, um, Kevin's publicist kept bothering him. And then Kevin, it's like Stern is big into like the whole, Everybody is like big into like that revisionist sort of history. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, it didn't happen this way. But this guy, Will Wilkins from View Askew, sent me an MP3 clip of, of Stern actual, that, that original interview back in 2002. 2002. And it was exactly as I remembered it. And what they're saying now is just not the case, you know? And fucking boy Gary Baba Booey, who I used to actually like, you know, I've, I've been a pretty loyal, Stern listener for some time since, he was nice. we since got I him. was 17. So 17, I've been listening to him and this is the first time that I was ever like, you know what? They're real dickheads. Like, especially Gary. Cause first Gary's full of shit and he keeps, and they were saying it then and they're saying it now. Uh, nobody really cares about Kev. Who cares? You know, I don't, I don't know. I'm not aware of what he's up to, you know, and Gary does this wrap up show after the main show for an hour. Nobody really cares about. Kevin Smith, like, you know, he picks up, but after that, he picks up three calls from callers that are like, no, I would totally like to hear what Kevin had to say. And even guys in his own studio, three different guys were like, no, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have minded hearing him. You know what? It's just that, that fucking bullheadedness and that fucking bullshit attitude that they just won't back off it and be like, hey, maybe we were wrong. Maybe people did want to hear, you know, and I know three calls out of that many aren't you know uh it, it might not be a, a true sample but right three for three when you sure. pick it up you know well it's, i mean to say no one i guess right there doesn't means right yeah. and even people in your own studio gary's just douchey i don't know if you re if you listen to the wrap-up show ever I, I haven't listened to stern since he switched over satellite i don't oh really uh, yeah i don't have that yeah. thing i used to like it a lot he has a book out and he um and he does this wrap up show. I think it might have went to his head a little bit. Yeah. So fucking opinionated. No matter what anybody says, I disagree. I just I'm like somebody I know, but <laughs> <laughs> the, the boy Walt. <laughs> Wawa Walter. Wawa Walter. <laughs> I just thought it was unnecessary, you know, to uh to go after Kev like that. And even on Stern's page, like he started tweeting. And everyone acts as if like Twitter now matters. You know, like I saw in the media, they're like, you know, why did it take Howard Long to start tweeting? His brand of humor lends itself to Twitter and it's not really. It's the same. Well, why? You did this again. You followed someone that fucking blows up our Twitter. Like Stern. I know. Holy he shit. He tweets so much. Um, you're not talking about Kev, right? <laughs> <laughs> I keep on following Kev, but you keep fucking clicking. <laughs> I never found, I never found this guy funny. I don't, yeah, you, I, even with, like when you guys were like hardcore for it, like you, you watch, mm -hmm. you listen to it like every day. I would listen to it and I would be like, wow, I don't, I don't think it's that funny. No. Yeah. I never really thought he was funny. Well, he, um, you know, they were, the argument was, you know, Gary said, uh, well, Alyssa Milano wanted to come on, you know, she's a hot chick. And it just occurred to me like, does, doesn't it strike these guys that like their fans are not all fucking like, you know, High school fucking red hot, you know, red blooded hot high school students looking for fucking pussy no matter what the cost. Like, so what if she's fucking hot? Who cares? You'd rather hear somebody interesting. Like, you're the, his core audience is probably not young anymore. They're probably guys in their thirties into their forties mm. or even early fifties. And it's like you mature in time and, and that kind of shit doesn't really matter as much as, you know, Somebody who might be interesting or somebody who might have something to say that isn't, you know, right. Oh, wait, here's something that we can't see unless we happen to subscribe to fucking Howard TV. Who the fuck cares about Alyssa Milano? I mean, really? Well, she is from Staten Island. I don't want to. Oh, is she? Yeah, I don't want to come maybe down maybe on it. Maybe it all turned around on yeah. it then. 
So this Chris, your girl, Christina Aguilera, she fucking fell at the Grammys now. She is embarrassing. What's going on? I don't know. She has, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, the best Maxim magazine layout that they've ever done. Uh-huh. And I would love to see her, you know, have a nice career and then fade away before she gets to fucking, like, what's her name? Who's that really? Um, Mariah Carey, who uh, was just the fucking hottest human being on the planet for a decade. And now you look at her and you're like, please. Just stop. Just sing. Just sing behind the scrim or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Well, Whitney Houston, where you're like, please don't sing. Yeah, right. Like, did you hear that, that tape of her? She did a concert. I think it was in Australia. Uh, and oh man, I guess like all that crack use or whatever drug it was she was taking has affected her fucking vocal cords to the point where it's like, I might as well try to sing the theme to the body group, <laughs> you know? Surprising that class A drugs would fucking knock out your throat after yeah, years it's of weird, abuse. Right? Uh, uh, so at any rate, I never thought that I would feel that strongly about anything stern said although i don't really you know lots of shit i'll shut off and i disagree but yeah yeah that became personal Mm -hmm. it It just got personal Mm. Mm -hmm. he was talking shit about your friend i mean that's it got your ire up shows you have a pulse right i got it back (laughs) my pulse is back (laughs) maybe whoever donated blood to you is a fucking yeah maybe it's a hot-blooded italian right yeah yeah i meant to shout out to uh yeah i I started talking in a staten island accent (laughs) and fucking my abs get real tight and shit (laughs) who was it was um madison wisconsin and uh what was the other place um great falls north dakota is that in north dakota Great Falls, wherever that is. Right. Those are the two cities I got to give shout outs to for my blood. Oh, that's where it came that's from? That's where the blood came from, yeah. Two bags from each. Probably not Italian then. Nah. Probably white, lily white. Yeah. I forgot to mention in that story too that like – Didn't you ask for white blood? Day two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They had to strap me down. <laughs> oh, was... <laughs> you think they've ever gotten that request? <laughs> like, well, I did joke around with it because like uh, the doctor who was who initially pr- said that I had to get it. I said, "Whatever you do, just don't give me any Italian blood because she's an Italian last name." Mm-hmm. And she's like, "Yeah, you can go now if you want." You know, joking around and shit. But um, I- I'm sure. I mean, if I'm a fucking hardcore like Nazi guy and uh-huh. like I got into a fight and somebody sliced me up. You're, if you need blood, you're probably mm-hmm. not even able to talk. Probably, <laughs> if you're if you're in, you're in need of bags of blood, you're probably well, not in a position to be like, ah. Well, it no depends, black man. Blood. What if you're like me, walking around? <laughs> yeah, uh, you know? that's right. Iron Man Johnson. <laughs> that's right. I forgot. Mama's fucking pride and joy. <laughs> I'm walking around. <laughs> walking around. <laughs> that's how they'd start to set me up. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is white, pure fucking Aryan blood, right? <laughs> Which is weird because you're, you're, you have black descent, as we've learned. That's true. I shouldn't have waited so long. They said I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't give a fuck at that point whose blood. It could have been fucking dog blood if it worked. I would have been, whatever. It doesn't matter to can me. Can they give, um, I guess animal blood doesn't work, right? Can mm. they, but can they give other animal blood to another animal? Like cat blood to a dog? Yeah. I doubt it. I don't think so. So I'm no. like whooping it up but out can't there. They fucking- put a, can't they put a pig's heart? Or a monkey's heart in now in a, a another animal heart. or something? Or a baboon man. heart. I heard a pig heart too. Yeah, so why can't they use the blood too then? Maybe they can and I just don't know what the fuck I'm uh, – Anyway, but the uh, – this actually involves Walt. It, the um, – when I originally went into the hospital, the second day I was in there, uh, Suzanne and Pam brought the kids over and there's like this family, little family room. When I say little, I mean the operative word is little. It was so fucking small where like you couldn't really do anything. And we all sit down and – um they were supposed to be there like an hour before, and I, I said, hey, it took you guys a while to get here. And she's like, it's because we had to make a stop. Calvin's dead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cat. I was like my cat of nearly 19 years that uh, that Grace Smith, Kev's mom, uh. gave me uh, back in the early 90s. I went to – because his mom was constantly feeding cats and shit. She was like cat lady, not in the house, but they had you, – you used to go to Kev's house. They probably had like 30, 35 cats Holy shit. running around outside. outside. Yeah, all yeah. outside. But they made special like formulas and shit like they would – her and Don because Don was into the cats too. So they – you know, Don Sr. would make uh, like bottles, baby bottles and shit and they, they were constantly fucking feeding cats and – uh this was from one of the litters. I got like two brothers from the litter and one died a couple of years ago. Some mighty might? Mm-mm. Hobbs. Hobbs. Yeah, this was, this was probably three, four years ago. 
And then Calvin held on and held on and um, to the point where you're like, it's when the vet starts telling you like, you should probably think about letting go. There's very little quality of life because mm-hmm. they thought maybe he had cancer and his eye would like water and crust up so much he couldn't see and shit. And Suzanne was constantly giving him fluids and he'd be like, Aah! and then she would rub his back till he went back to sleep. Are it we was talking like, about a cat or you at this point? I forgot. Yeah. No, I it. took back seat. That's, I'm downstairs. I'm like, I need help. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You have enough stored fat to live off of. <laughs> you don't love me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, but the weirdest thing about that was, aside from the very abrupt, like, well, wait, what? I was happy he at least went to sleep okay. as opposed to like having to bring him over there and put him down and make that choice. It's like he, he just sort of gave out. Um, and uh, Walt called that morning. I guess when they were coming over and she said, what did she say to you? Like if you happen to see him. No, I called so, to see how you were doing. I didn't know you were still, I didn't know if you were still in the hospital and your mom said, Oh no, he's still in the hospital. We're actually going over there. You can give him a call. He's got his cell phone. And I was like, okay, all right. Yeah. I'll give him a call later. I said, and she goes, Oh, but uh, don't tell him his cat died though. <laughs> something he was completely unaware something of up to that point. <laughs> <laughs> it's something I would have never been. I never would have been the one to be like. To uh, how's this cat doing anyway? Like before you get off the phone, is this cat dead yet? <laughs> she was like, yeah. Uh, she she got real serious and was like, uh, don't tell him. Dear God, please don't tell him that this cat died. He doesn't need that right now. And then she, yeah. then you said stop she, being a real jerk. Walt. She, she boarded it out like within two seconds of, of being. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> I, yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. And then I was like, but I was so fucking out of it at that point. Right. You know, that was you were out of it the day after. Yeah, you know, it was a day after. Like I, I was still in the hospital, obviously. So it was the day after I got that blood and shit, and like I was on medications and crap. So I was like, wait, what? You know. Mm-hmm. Well, you don't, you don't, what, when you, no, <laughs> you look very skeptical. No, 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 nothing. Fuck, you had a tough beginning to this year, man. It can only mm-hmm. go up. I'm hoping. Yeah. I'm hoping. It's going to be a big year for you. I sit here, let me, <laughs> let me give, uh, let me give Ming a call. I want to bring him over here. So we got to read something to him. Are you, uh, are you, Walt, do you still want to do puck nuts? Do I still want to do puck nuts? Because I get a lot of people claiming that you're done with puck nuts. Well, he said he was hoping for a format change. <laughs> Why are they asking you? He was, you were especially cranky last week, I think. That was like you didn't say anything for the first. Hey, you want to come over? Okay. Um, he didn't say anything for like the first 15 minutes and it was pretty deadly. Wait a minute though. But like it's like this guy goes for months like fucking being like – um. I'm out of it. I'm depressed. I don't know what's going on. Right. I have one fucking like grouchy week and everybody's like – I carried on. It wasn't hearted. like hey, – I was, I was fucking there. You weren't diagnosed with medical grouchiness and shit. <laughs> well, you don't know. Maybe I got no what you had. No problem for you to walk maybe around. Maybe I have what you got and no one's fucking giving I, me the I asked you, I asked you like three times. I'm like, are you okay? Are yeah, you but okay? I don't I know. I haven't been diagnosed. Maybe I got it. Well, let me dig into your rectum for a little bit. <laughs> in the fetal position. You know, everybody like – everyone likes to be like, what an asshole. Rah, 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 rah. But like you got a pass when you were fucking out of it. I, I, I think I still talk though. I wasn't dead what, silent. I talked? No, now that you listen to that episode, you talk very little in the beginning. And I actually tried to to draw him in by asking Sunday Jeff questions. Oh yeah, I knew he couldn't help himself, no matter how fucking grouchy he was. Did he resist? Going after? No, he did not resist. No, okay. He went after him. <laughs> he gave him a bunch of shit. So you're saying it's just a week? Well, you just had an off week? I understood. I I totally understood. So Dude. what are you talking about then? Uh, well, I brought it up because oh, you got yeah, some sorry. emails. <laughs> and a couple of Twitter. Well, that's, that's what I had said to, to – I said, look, I said not every week's as fun as the other weeks. Like some, some, yeah, some coming week. off the heels it, of Ming fucking like – And it was, a third, it was a right. third show in a row because we did one with Kev and right. we did ours. And then. You know, Ming thinks that like he can pull that shit and then I'm going to be like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> so, puck, nut, puck nut number one. What's on your bullet points, Ming? <laughs> you know, he expects me to just be like to not fucking hold a grudge. Mm-hmm. Right. Dance monkey. He's wrong. He tried to get you to dance like a little monkey. Well, fuck it. Show suffered and, and fans noticed, bro. I think mm-hmm. that says a yeah, lot about... Blame fucking Ming. I agree. You, you got to blame Ming for that one. <laughs> sure. There you go. You want Walt? Yeah. No, he said no. He said no. <laughs> you can wipe it off. <laughs> Q? Uh, I don't even think they know who I am. You know who Q is, right? No, are you don't. from this country? Are you? 
Do you speak English? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because you look like real Italian and shit, and you're not saying anything, so... Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> Where's the cap? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Is he? Giovanni? Oh. <laughs> See you later, Giovanni. What's up, Walt? You got it. No worries. Oh, Walt, another thing that I got done, I'll have to show you for your approval... Little by little, I'm getting trying to get shit taken care of. Um, pictures. Oh yeah. Promised pictures. You took them? I did. You want to say? I do. Now what we're doing though is um, they're not all done. Okay. We're gonna roll them out over the course of three or four weeks. So we're not gonna start with the the juiciest pictures first. We'll build up a little bit, a little mm-hmm. bit of anticipation. Because since last fucking October hasn't been enough. <laughs> well, when you go to a, a strip club, it's always like, you know, you get there, the girl's just naked. It's no fun. Let's, let's treat Suzanne like a stripper. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, what, you're not? <laughs> a little bit. I mean, she's yeah. stripping technically. Right. But she's just not getting paid for it. Uh, um, no. She agreed to something. that, And she really didn't do that much as far as like uh, her Photoshopping and stuff. Oh, yeah? No. She was like, I look good. Are you still mad at Walt? At uh at uh at Ming? You still feel that I'm not happy with Ming, no. Really? Held over from last week, huh? Why should I forget it? Oh, you shouldn't. I don't want you to. I'm not I'm not like mad at him, but I'm definitely not like She hanging out with Ming twice this weekend. You guys are gonna be in social situations twice. Where else is he hanging out with him? The oh the The Devil's Friday? game on Friday and then and the we're going top to see secret meeting? No, Monster Magnet on Sunday. Oh yeah, that's right, man. That's gonna be rough. What? Where is it at? Should we? Should we announce? Should we give him a plug? Yeah, Monster Magnet. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's if you want to join us to rock out to Monster Magnet this it's- Sunday, the day after tomorrow. If this, if you listen to this when it releases, so got the Starland the Ballroom. Mm-hmm. Right, Brian. Mm-hmm. Where's that Starland Ballroom? Old Bridge. <sighs> I think it's. Is it that or Saraville? No, you think you're right. I think you're right. I think it's Saraville. Well, look it up. Starland Ballroom, Sunday. The, the Tell Them Steve Dave crew will be there. What's the date, Sunday? 20th. The 20th. All right, boys. I'm going to give you a little preview. There's first picture. Whoa, whoa. She changed her tones on, on Photoshop? No, she's been tanning and stuff. Uh, wow, that is I got, a I got an ethical question to ask you, Walt, in a minute involving tanning. So there's number one. Number Whoa. two. Now, if you look closely, I don't mean to give anything away, but like if you're gonna blow this up, you're gonna see a little something between really? the of those fingers. Uh huh. A little nip action, huh? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. All right, I do know, but. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. My oh my. <sighs> it's um, worth the wait. I'm gonna say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. There's picture number three. That's kind of hard to see all at once. Okay. It's big. I like that outfit. You picked that out? Um, Butter, the bra from Victoria's Secret. The skirt's from Adam and Eve. Mm. The boots are from, I don't remember where, some boot place. And there she is, well, showing a little pantaloons. Oh, yeah. Look at those this bloomers. There's a segment of the audience that's going to love that. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of panty guys out bloomers there. Bloomers and titties. Looking all right, huh? Shit. I think, yeah. Walt, seal of approval. You're not even looking. No, I looked. And that's only the first week. I would never bring you for a three on one. <laughs> <laughs> that's week one. Wow. It gets better from here, you're saying. Mm-hmm. I've seen some of the other outfits. Really? Yep. So you have that to look forward to. Um, well, in order to combat this season effect, a seasonal affective disorder, this depression and shit, bought the light box, which I've been using. I don't know if I've seen any real, uh, Sun results lamp. yet. Sun lamp, you mean, right? Yeah, what I say? Lightbox? Lightbox? Yeah, I mean, that's whatever it is, yeah. the uh been using that, but been going to the tanning salon three times a, uh, three times a week, if I can work it in, if I'm not shitting all over the fucking tanning bed. Um, <laughs> so if you can work it in, I was like, yeah, with, with that busy schedule, I'm sure it must be hard to fucking work it in. Well, well yeah. the idiot box is 24 hours a day. <laughs> that, I mean, that, that never goes off. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've burned through three they TVs fucking, in a they year. They turned it on when they, got, they go and created it out of the box and they fucking tore the knob off. Like, we won't need this knob anymore. Mm. This shit's staying on for they good. They still have knobs. 
I super glued the, the, the plug into the outlet. <laughs> Three backup generators should the power go off. Just a wall of TVs and mm-hmm. shit like that. Um, but you know what I did watch? I, I started watching uh, Lockdown, that National Geographic show. Have you ever seen that? In abroad? Uh, no, not that one. It's just like regular Lockdown. And then something called Hard Time. That's also on National Geographic. A lot of prison shows. A lot of prison shows. Um, it made me want to never. I mean, not that I think about it a lot, but Maybe it reinforced. You, well, it you're reinforced. Why are you watching such depressing uh, state of television? Maybe you should watch something a little bit more uplifting. A little Cake Boss? A little Owned, maybe. Owned? What's that? The Oprah Winfrey Network. It's very no. uplifting. <laughs> yeah. Have so you you've taken it? the plunge. You're gay now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you Don't let even watching, Cooper find out. <laughs> stop watching shit that's depressing, though. It has a. It has. Um, a, like you're watching something depressing. It stands to reason when you turn it off, you're not going to be happy then. I don't turn it off, bitch. <laughs> well, you know what I channel. do. <laughs> all right. When you wake up in the morning, you know all that shit you watched. It's just. It's just fucking gelling in your brain. It might be. Watch it made me. Shit. It made me redouble my efforts to never do anything illegal. So I've done a couple of illegal things, and I see guys like, I asked Suzanne like, which is worse? Like, there's a guy who goes to jail. He was like, he was busted on a minor drug possession, and he is crying his eyes out. He's like a black dude, probably in his forties, and just bawling. I, I don't belong here, man. I shouldn't be here. I don't, I can't be in here. Like crying. And he gets out in like three, four days, but he's kissing the ground. He's so excited to, to get out. But like, he really does not exude any manliness <laughs> like, mm-hmm. or, like during that process. And then there's another guy who was like, he had a wife and a, and a daughter who was like three at the time, four at the time, I guess when he went away, he, it was burglary and assault. And he comes in and he's like, I'm really into relationships. And since there's all guys here, like I felt that the best way to get into a relationship was to take on the role of a woman. So he's put on makeup and he's shaving and his he's legs. And three years? No, he was in there for nine years. But his daughter was three years old <laughs> when he went in. Nine, nine years. years. Well, you know what? You know what? That was an excuse. He yeah. always wanted to be that girl. He wanted to do it anyway. Yeah. Now he had the perfect excuse. Now, like, he probably robbed that store on purpose because he wanted to fucking be a woman. <laughs> right. How else am I going to fucking get away with shaving my legs exactly. and blowing guys? <laughs> because there's no way you're, because there's no way. Dude, I know. <laughs> there's no way that you can, um, that you can just be like, eh, you know what? I'm really into relationships. Nobody's into relationships that much. I agree. Yeah. You know I what? agree. Yeah, exactly. In fact, most guys are like, wow, like, I don't have to fucking worry about Valentine's Day and all that other <laughs> exactly. shit. Like, gel's a nice little break. What's worse? <laughs> <For> if, women? <laughs> yeah. if you, what's worse? If you don't get your girl anything or a last minute uh, candy heart purchase from CVS? Um, nothing. Worse Which is, is worse? nothing? Because they don't know that you got a last minute right. heart from CVS. You could CVS. have bought that anywhere. But as you long know. as you made the effort, what difference does it make if it's fucking you made it a week before Valentine's Day or seven minutes before the fucking you see her on Valentine's well, Day? The amount What's of thought? the difference? The amount of thought it's you put the into it. Where's the, where's the effort? It doesn't it take there. much. It doesn't take the effort much effort. Is not, is not more a week earlier than, a, than seven well, minutes Well, if you earlier. put thought into it earlier, you might come okay, up with so more I than a fucking box of candies. I thought about it a week before Valentine's Day or I thought about it on Valentine's Day. You're, it's too – like, hey, man, be happy with that he made the effort. Stop fucking trying to fucking torpedo is, 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 the effort. Is this what – is this the speech Debbie got yesterday when <laughs> <laughs> you brought her right. roses smell like gasoline Quit, from the fucking so, gas station so down the right, street? Though. It's like if I got you nothing, yeah. Right. Then, then, you can, then you can come at me. Sure. But regardless of when I bought it. It doesn't change the fact I bought it. That's right. I mean, I think what Brian is saying is like if you plan a week in advance, you get reservations to a nice place. You know, you, you might get a zombie you, portrait. You, you got a zombie portrait. You get some nice clothes. You take her out. You make a big night out of it. The lower end of that scale would be four ninety nine chocolates from CVS. However, even four ninety nine chocolate from CVS is better than fucking right. nothing. Better than nothing. Yeah. Well, I never celebrated Valentine's Day in any relationship I've ever been in. Mm. Ever. Ever. Um, How's that work out? It works out great. Because when you lay down that speech in the beginning of a relationship, like Valentine's Day is for suckers, it's a made up holiday, blah, 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 blah. They don't like, hear it. Why is it for suckers, though? Because it's, well, because it's this, a Hallmark this holiday. This is a speech which... I'm laying down. Don't worry about what it affects <laughs> anybody. I'm just saying this is what I do. Like, it's, you know, because I'm not fucking, I'll tell you why it's for suckers. Because you're going out, you're crammed into a fucking restaurant, you're sitting next, they, they throw 30 extra tables in there, you're fucking sitting next to a couple next to you to the right, to the left. Everybody's trying to ignore each other. 
It just fucking sucks. The prices are jacked through the goddamn. I, I don't have to try to ignore anybody. If, That's because you're at home. Well, I mean, if I'm out though, I, it's not like I have to. I make an effort, like, oh, I want to ignore these people to the left and right of me. It's no, like, no, I'm not talking easily. about. I'm not talking about like a table. That I'm talking about. They have some restaurants where it's almost like a lunchroom style fucking seating. I understand why the why the restaurants doing it, but I'm not taking part of that shit. Not at all. I'm out. I'm out on Valentine's Day. Always have been. But if you present it the right way, then the girl's like, "You're right. Valentine's Day sucks." Like with a fucking clenched fist. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What, like, I don't get it. Like, what girls? Whatever. Like, what's the right way? Well, you just you know, if you, every if you day is display, Valentine's Day renew with Q. That's yeah. a, there you go. <laughs> that's that's gonna work. I like that. But then she really like, well, it really wasn't though. Like yesterday, it didn't feel like no Valentine's Day, and today didn't feel like Valentine's Day. Yeah. Well, that's why I don't give. Funny, back. there's a reason they call me Cupid. <laughs> 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 uh yeah no um if you if you show disdain for valentine's day early on and make it seem like in your <laughs> but opinion you showed disdain as for curmudgeonly Christmas, as possible you showed disdain for valentine's day yeah, the but, only one i haven't seen you show disdain for is fucking st patrick's day because you want to get blottoed and halloween because mm-hmm. chick dress says there's girls right. running around half naked right. it's um, only what like you even tried to like, shut down though. thanksgiving with mm. the turkeys it seems like it's only like your thoughts <laughs> um no, I, I've said Christmas. I, I wish I was into it, but I'm just not. Oh, before you suck this cock, <laughs> let's get a couple of things straight, mostly concerning the holidays. <laughs> right. All get right? your calendar out, yeah. honey. <laughs> Mark off what we're not going to be celebrating and you ain't going to be getting presents for. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a matter. Like, I'll, birthdays, I'll make a big to-do about birthdays. You do do birthdays. Yeah. It, it's, I don't like the fucking commercialized, forced fucking bullshit that they shove down mm, your throat. Taking a stand over here. And if you present that with enough disgust in your voice for the people who do, then the girl almost feels obligated to be like, yeah, you're right. I'd feel like she'd feel like a dick. Yeah. You're talking about girls that don't have a lot of self-esteem. Oh, well, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, it goes course. without saying. Oh, can you call him again? Yeah, you want me to get him over here? But Walt, see, you did put thought into it. So why are you arguing on the behalf of the fucking uh, asshole because, CBS guy? Because it's – Like you went out and got some beautiful fucking expensive who, earrings. But who's to say though I didn't get him the day off? Did you get him at CBS? <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when you got him. It doesn't matter where you got him. It doesn't matter how much you spent. How long ago you did you get him? made the effort. Right. Get your ass over here, boy. <laughs> Come on, man. All right. Five minutes, he said. What's he doing? I don't know, man. He's working or something. <laughs> um, how long ago did you get those earrings? You picked them out. You went out of your way to to realize her style. So what? The guy who went in and got that rose at CVS one had to go out. Of, had to walk in. He had to get out of his car. What a fucking champ! <laughs> you know, but it's better than fucking like giving the fucking line of like, well, I don't believe in Valentine's Day. It's too commercialized. Day. You know. <laughs> You made the effort. Reward the I'm guy who makes the effort. To stop at CVS for stop, your ass. <laughs> stop going over his effort with a magnifying glass. Stop going over and, and fucking home. nitpicking it. Not you. I'm talking about the okay. women out there. Stop going. <laughs> stop trying to fucking like torpedo his effort. Like you see that CVS receipt gr- from fucking ten minutes earlier, <laughs> and just let it go. <laughs> yeah, because you know what? He made the effort. Mm. You know, reward that effort. It's minimal. Give him something like give, give like give him a treat, Candy. give him a pat. No, I mean like give him like that figurative. Give him a pat on the head, and mm. you know, and then he'll go out and maybe make a better effort even next time. Then so it's her fault. I'm trying if to figure it out. If she comes at him with like, I don't like this effort. Right. This effort gets an F on my part. Mm-hmm. No pat on the head for you. Yeah. Then then don't expect. Then what can you expect then? I don't know. Divorce. Divorce court. No, I mean, what do you expect the next year then? If you fucking go after him, you're not even getting that. Yeah, I, I, to me, I've never understood what like that. Did you get anything? Rationale. Yeah, I got something. What'd you get? I got a DVD. Oh, really? Was it that? Yeah. Oh, really? That superhero thing we were yeah. watching? Oh, that's cool. That is pretty cool. That's well, thoughtful I too. Out. I picked it. Oh, all right, well, there you go. <laughs> and bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Paid for it. How many holidays can these card companies make up before you like enough's enough? Uh, you know what? If you have fun with them, though, man. Have fun with them. They like, can make up another one. I'll, I'm up for it. Yeah, yeah. Let's make like if they want to make up another one where like I can get a present or give a present, right? And get a pat on the head. Okay, I'm up for it. What What's was that? What was that? that holiday on The Simpsons? Was it like Love Day or something? I don't know. Yeah, it was something like that. Yeah, it was like it was oh, in the Ming's summer here. or something. Yeah, <laughs> Ming Ming just stepped in finally after five. What were you doing? I, I twenty minutes I, late. I have a job. Mm. I have a job. I got you know I have. What did you do for Debbie Chen for uh, Valentine's Day? Uh, I cooked Day. her very Didn't nice. Didn't I see you in CVS? 
uh, buying, no, buying <laughs> edible undies. No, last minute fucking <laughs> thing of candies for. Uh, it was last minute, but I cooked her a very nice dinner. What but, else? That's it? That's pretty much it, yeah. And that's I gave good. her a big That's max of effort. Actually, did you buy like that? Don't you cook dinner on a regular basis, though? I do. But, uh, this so how, is a, that, how is that special, then? This is a special one. I, I went all out. Like I, one of those guys, like, he walks into that Chinese restaurant, he's sweating over a walk and <laughs> shit. <laughs> you know what I like is Walt's just, just two seconds ago was like, whatever effort you put forth is good. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, I made dinner. It's like, what the fuck? It's like every other day of the week. Yeah. Yeah. That, that to me seems like. It's nothing special. <laughs> nothing special. <laughs> 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 but, if that, but if the effort is the same exact thing, though. No. But let's say you go, okay. Let's say you buy your wife a rose from CVS every day. Okay. Then you don't do that on Valentine's Day, though. You got to like change it up a little you bit. Got up the ante. Then there's right. the, then there you're not you're not showing the effort. Then you're just doing what you do every day. Then hmm. I, right. I can get behind that if she was to get like. So well, then your effort all year writing. long. Plus you would appear psychotic if every day you came <laughs> home with a fucking rose from CVS. <laughs> but so you did the same. You do how many how many days a week do you cook dinner at your house? Uh, maybe three. The three other part, the other part of the week, he can't make it to the fucking kitchen. There's so, too much shit in the apartment pile. <laughs> oh, come on, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Fifty days out of the year to you cook dinner. Yeah. So how is this one different on Valentine's Day? I I, I went all out. I spent more. Some nice. You spent uh, more. Yeah, some nice expensive steaks. And, oh yeah. Do and, kids uh, get it, or like do you no, like they were the asleep by kids the time get mac and cheese? Oh really? Yeah. What they wouldn't. Time, time you get home? home? I got home at like nine. Don't oh, fucking from where? From work? Yeah. What Why do you go to work till nine o'clock? From work, well, we got we got a movie coming out that we got to promote in a tour. Like, come on, man! Oh, you can't do it from home. I'm not, I'm here. I'm a, you know I'm not gonna on Valentine's Day. You yes, can't have Valentine's the laptop. Day. You can't have the laptop and up and, and not, uh, like do what you got to do at home. Not while only, uh, that's not, how romantic is that? It's like, oh, I'll be there in oh, a second, she was, honey. Oh, she was helping you cook the meal too, though. She little, did help. Little, yeah. nine and a half it's weeks. more romantic a fucking thing is in a house at all. <laughs> there, was no, there was no butter involved or whatever. That, whatever. That's the last tango in Paris. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so she was helping you cook it then? Yes. Oh, that okay. That's different then. She doesn't usually do that, right? Uh, usually it's just me, yeah. All right. So that changed. All right. That sounds a little bit more romantic. You were cooking it together? Did you throw her up on the fucking counter and give and it to her good? Uh, you know, maybe after dinner. No, I didn't. You didn't? No, no not before dinner, dude. That's unsanitary. I know, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the bacteria. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're fucking, fucking <laughs> giving the steaks a nasty glaze and shit. I gave, uh, I, I stumbled across a treasure trove of shoes. Yeah, jackpot. I gave them all to Ming. You did. About? Edgar uh, was un- unloading this guy's, uh, this guy's uh, storage unit. His boss, he has like, because they're always working for malls and shit and different stores, I guess, give this guy uh, samples of like mm-hmm. shoes and uh, clothes and shit. Right. And so Edgar brought them home for Suzanne, but her, the shoes didn't fit her. So I passed them all on to Ming. Anyways, I still have like three more pairs. That, really? Yeah. So I gave him like 12 pairs of shoes. What size? How many were? Um, I don't know. I'm not, am I supposed to give out a lady shoe size? Maybe That's Debbie Chen does one. It's a size nine. It's not like a, a, size like a 14. Nine. It's not or like Paris Hilton. It's not a. Uh, it's not a freaking Shaquille O'Neal or anything. All right. Um, I don't think your your would ladies that, your ladies that, real Cinderella esque. If well. it was a Shaquille O'Neal size foot on a woman, yeah, I think so. Wouldn't really? that turn anybody? What do I like a, a size? Be- I always like thought a- bigger to better. Yeah, you want like uh, Amazon? Not- your fucking wife's four ten. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> she's I mean, like the most like, petite no, like, fucking terms, person like, I've ever bigger, seen. Like I'm trying to talk about bigger. I don't mean that way, but I mean like like Booty-licious. bigger to better. Like you know, that's not all. That doesn't always apply. No, I'll yeah, like about if they have a big vagina, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's not great. <laughs> if you were like, if you're into something like a foot, right? <laughs> oh, so Ming likes. Fuck, so Ming's jerking off watching a fucking Orlando Magic game or whoever he plays for. <laughs> <laughs> bigger is not always better. We're just All right. that. <laughs> How big are the shoes? I'm like size nine. He's like not big enough. <laughs> to jerk going. off into the shoe boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you sell one. the shoes on eBay? Uh, I don't know. I figure somebody could help somebody out that you know has a fetish or. <laughs> could use some shoes. But, I, I would rather give them to a friend. Yeah, that's a lot of effort to put. Plus, shoes they, yeah, because yeah. a guy is not working, got no money coming in. <laughs> Never so- misses a fucking chance. <laughs> I do something nice. He's like, here's why he's a dickhead for doing it. But I mean, you had that was all brand new shoes, never used, and all high quality. Uh, yeah, they were. Yeah, they were mostly they were very uh, mostly. high quality. Yeah, some you let hundred dollars slip out uh, shoe slip bags. out your fingers though. I know, I'm not about the fucking money though. I'm like a monk taking a vow of poverty. At least that's what I like to tell people. <laughs> uh, how many were hits, Ming? Uh, out of the, I think the nine you gave me, mm-hmm. well, probably about half. 
About half is not bad. And he evade the rest. (laughs) Yeah. You could evade the rest or pass them on. Ming, you need to answer some charges here. Okay. Mm. More charges? Well, these aren't leveled by Walt. Okay. This is from, you know, we have to uh, cater to our listeners. Of course. the uh, the subject here is angry as fuck, <laughs> and uh, okay. Cole Bauer writes, <laughs> "I have met Bride twice. I have met Wal- Walton Q once. I have listened to all fifty and a half uh, podcast, postal bonus episode, and many exclusive episodes many times. I love the show. I'm a friend on Facebook. I'm a follower on Twitter. I fucking love you guys in this show, Bry Walton Q. Every episode I have ever listened to with Ming, he fucks something up." This whole red state thing is throwing me over the edge of madness. All he does is fuck things up. Oh, wait. This is – I'm sorry. This is from Debbie Chen. <laughs> uh, big, small, huge or tiny, fucks things up, takes the wrong side or insults people in some way. I should know. I've listened to every episode multiple times. Even people who have heard the show because of me say the only thing that they can't stand is Ming. <laughs> Same here. I never thought Ming would get such a vitriolic hate wow. fucking letter. Um, I don't care if you hate me for it. Far from it. Uh, or bash me or never respond. I'm writing as an angry Ming-hating fan. I'm not going to stop being a fan, donating to the cause you guys create or support, listening or anything else. I just want to say, and this is in caps, I fucking hate Ming. He's worse than a hater on Twitter. I live for the moments when Walt goes off on him. Caps, what the fuck is this dude's problem? <laughs> Caps, fuck Ming. From a fan and many fans who are my friends. Now, Ming. Does it look like he's never worked at fucking iPad ever? It's what always like, oh, where, where is it? Oh, 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 there, uh, lost. Oh, 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 mm. oh boy. <sighs> okay, so... <laughs> I mean, I've never seen – you've never come on and worked that thing smoothly. Because I don't really normally use my my mouth. I barely even bring it in. In fact, just before the mics went on, it's just like, whoa, what are you bringing that in for? You constructed a fucking computer. <laughs> fucking by plugging in a fucking iPad to a keyboard. <laughs> uh, he wants me to address it. He said it means a lot to me and many. Wait a minute. That's just a, that's just a reply? And you couldn't find, like, you couldn't hit the button to be like, what, the replies on, off of that email? You fucking idiot. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm dumb. No. I had to go back to the inbox. All it was was a It's reply. not like it took me 45 minutes. I had to go like, back to the oh, inbox. Um, mm, mm, well, hold on. Mm, 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 mm. Well, if I, I, I don't have much practice because I'm not on there on Twitter defending you and <laughs> shit when people are like, what an angry douche. Because uh, I said, you have some damage control to do. He said, well, address it. Means a lot to me and many. So how, how do, what do you say to this, man? How do you? I don't know, man. How do you I'm answer a, this? I'm, I'm a pretty laid back guy. Like, uh-huh. You know, I don't. I, don't. I, I would say you're you're more I, that you're laid back to a point. I was thinking about this the other day. Um, I think you don't. I've never seen you angry. I've never seen you extremely happy either. It's always this even keel. Right. Would you agree with that? Uh, yeah. You've never seen me extremely happy. No. Oh, I've yeah. never seen you extremely. Oh happy. come on! At, at the um, at Brantford when he was scoring goals and shit. Yeah, our, then, you know what? Okay, but the only or is that I've different from triumphant? I've ever, only time I've ever. It's always like I think you might have sociopathic tendencies. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. But go on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because it's like he has no conscience. <laughs> <laughs> He's unfeeling. <to> it. <laughs> I never see you show any feelings other than like this even keel. Okay. And only or or if it, if you score a goal. Okay. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Like, um, there might be something there. Like, um, no matter what happens around in the world or here, it's like it's the same thing. And when something bad happens and you talk about it. You laugh. No, 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 he doesn't laugh, but he but he has a, um, he has an like not an awkwardness, but almost like he's acting like he like he's does like like that that he's uh, not upset, but like there's a weird like vibe of like I I know I can't act my even keel. I got to bring I got to bring another emotion to the front here. Oh, so he's he's being very superficial and like, like acting almost. He's not, pretending to be human. Is that yeah. what you're saying? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what gets his engines running? Here you go, man. I'm gonna send these to you later on. These are the pictures that oh. we took. You're gonna want to focus on that. It derailed your your theory, Walt. <laughs> that, yeah, <laughs> but like you said, but it, right, but he's it, looking. It's got to be like either send them shoes. To you a little bit. <laughs> 
or um, <laughs> the thought know, of like, shoes, like, or, like <laughs> more <laughs> shoes to come, <laughs> the taste of shoes. <laughs> trying to think of like, um, I'm trying to think of an example, but like, uh, there's been many of them where like something was brought up and it was just like the reaction wasn't one of like you like it just felt like it was like robotic, like something that he should have strong emotion with, yeah, like, like something yeah. horrific or yeah. Debbie Chen's been missing for a week. <laughs> uh, well, I, I uh, eh, she'll turn up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the hopeless Fine. optimist, <laughs> or she won't. I yes. Guess. Either uh, way, I'm all right. Stop trying to make me act human. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of pressure. You're trying to break my keel. I don't know. We we gotta have Debbie Chen on again. Break my keel. <laughs> don't break my keel. Um, we're gonna have to have Debbie Chen on to see uh, at home. Because she said that he that he uh, sometimes he's he's screaming and stuff and going crazy yelling at her. Remember though, she said the pizza thing. Perfect example. I need to go to hospital. I need to eat pizza. Oh yeah. It's about. It's like it's me. It's me. So I'm I'm a selfish bastard. Not selfish, but like. (laughs) Well, maybe just a narcissist with control issues. Maybe. (laughs) You know, he's like it's about me and my pizza. Well, you. I mean, you you just obviously disagree, right? A narcissist? Not narcissist, but like, no, I don't sociopath? think sociopath. So Come on. <laughs> As if a sociopath is complimentary. No, no sociopath. I don't oh, mean you. like you have like the, I think what do you sociopath mean by that, is, being, is are, 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 the, 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 the good though. sociopath. Oh, you always hear sociopath with a killer, right? Sociopath. No, that's sociopath like psychopath. Does, does it not have to be like um does not have to be like like you're go- like you're some sort of de- like demented. Like I'll a look it up on Wikipedia for you. A highly functioning sociopath. Yes, exactly. Sure. <laughs> okay. I'll look it up on Wikipedia. Right. I'll get back to you in a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please let Quinn look it up? He knows how to work his iPad. <laughs> you got all these contraptions hooked up to it, and not fucking one of them it gets any fucking speed to it. I know it doesn't. Well, it's it's mostly up to me though. Let's see. Let's see what. Let's uh, let's fucking. Um, Let's, your your iPad like, should be the size with the fingers and everything. Your iPad needs to be the size of a TV screen. Because my fingers are too big. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like. Rah, rah. <laughs> We're gonna diagnose you, man. Don't worry about it. All right. Thanks. But do you, I mean, do you disagree? Obviously, you. Uh, I would disagree with that if I was you. <laughs> don't fucking don't, don't admit ad- to being a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, yes, I disagree. Do you know what a sociopath means, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just you know, uncaring, just uh, well, like on a unemo- very like, glib and superficial, like not having real emotion, like in- so incapable you don't care about of human it's, life. It's incapable of 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 being able to, to believe or accept feelings in other people. It's not really about your feelings; it's just that other people you can't even conceive that other people have. Yeah, do you have that? No, Isn't no, that no. I, care, I, care. I think you might have that. <laughs> I'd say it's the opposite. I care very much about how you feel. They're forcing me to do a survey. This is fucking unbelievable. Let me let me see what I can do. I, I, I might I might be using the wrong word then. Uh, I would I would I'd class myself as a pacifist. I don't like confrontation. I think I meant to say faggy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like confrontation. I just want everybody to be happy. What? No way. This isn't even like the real Wikipedia fucking. <laughs> they're like, hey, please select your prize or tell me I want a fucking Good computer God. and a TV. I'm, I'm, I'm Q, doing please yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking put us out of our misery. Come here. on, Q. Fucking help me. This is not what Steve Jobs had in mind when he invented these things. He didn't think there'd be fucking. And the, the, the other thing is, um, have you read the news reports about how like three and four year old kids, like how fast they pick these up? Right. And okay. how um, you I know, got this it. is going to be a Stop trying to turn it on me, man. <laughs> 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 Anti, it's, it's, uh, it's under here with antisocial personality disorder is right. listed on yeah, Wikipedia. Yeah, I, I can I can see that. I'm far from a antisocial. Persuasive pattern of disregard for and violation of the rights of others that begins in childhood or early adolescence and continues into adulthood. Keep going. Mm-hmm. Antisocial <laughs> personality disorder is sometimes referred to as psycho. <clears throat> Sorry, social. But a, but a sociopath can be very social though, and very um, very, oh, sure. You know, can be very charming. Right. Very good. I, I don't know about like your, you, Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I'm using the right word though. No, you're not. I might, my diagnosis <laughs> might be a little off. Okay. <laughs> but I'm don't on sell the right track. Short, though, I'm on the right track though. All right. A psychopath and a sociopath are two different things. Psycho- but sociopath is always linked to like whenever you hear the word, it's always used when we're talking about some sort of murder that's been committed. There's no way I think that. Okay. Okay. But there's definitely like <laughs> so you got that going for you. <laughs> <laughs> but there's definitely something like um, there's a wire that's crossed. Uh, so I'm messed up. Emotional. Uh, <laughs> really? Need some medication. <laughs> really? Okay. 
<laughs> There's a list here. Of, uh, Let's do the checklist for okay. me. Let's see if he's sociopath. All right, glibness, superficial he's glib. charm. He's glib. He's got uh, he's got that superficial charm, right? Mm-hmm. You would agree with that, right? Superficial. You don't think like he's I, charming deep down? Like I don't mean it. Oh, we know that. Come on, man. You see people, and you're like an NFDC, and you're like, you, when does that ever happen? <laughs> like when I leave after punk nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's been talked about, though. Right. I, mean, I can't give out. I can't okay. give out right, specifics. Because right, right, right. yeah, then Mike will hear. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right. Check one. All right. We got uh, that one. Pathological lying. <laughs> pathological lying? Lying. Hmm. Do you lie a lot? I don't lie at all. Ever? I mean, literally. Everybody lies. Small ones, near, nothing, not big whoppers, though. I'll be the judge of that. What's yeah, the last okay. lie you told? I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't lie that much. <laughs> You're lying right now. I can't, I'm, <laughs> I'm a terrible liar. Not whoppers. <laughs> All right, so. What's after that? Need for stimulation? Shoes. Everyone's got need for stimulation. <laughs> the shoes, right? Everyone. Shoes. Who doesn't have need for stimulation? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Q. No. Doesn't everybody need stimulation? Well, yeah, I guess. Well, um, they're not talking exclusively sexual stimulation, no, right? No. How else are you stimulated other than shoes? I and other than sexually? Sports. What else gets your boner that's going? That's true, right? Yeah. You're jogging? Uh, running, sure. You, so you need it, right? <laughs> All right. Everybody well, needs it. that one. <laughs> um, here we have um, unreliability. Whoa, oh. that's a big one. <laughs> that's huge, Ming. <laughs> Even the fans are pointing it out now. <laughs> um, we already know. I, I don't know, know if I'm unreliable as we, much as... Uh, I checked, we could check off all these. I, I, no, I have though. a lot of people to keep happy. <laughs> you know that, you know that we, we got two sociopaths. Maybe I sit at the table. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to argue. <laughs> Focus on him. <laughs> well... Does not perceive that anything is wrong with them. Mm-hmm. All right. Bang. Well, that's everybody, though. Everybody thinks that, though. Yeah. But he's, in, thinks he's, that he's, he's included in that. <laughs> <laughs> paranoid? Even me. What's that, paranoid? Paranoid. Paranoid? He wouldn't let me use a disc? Right. <laughs> that was extreme Such paranoia. How right. is that a fucking stretch? How that's, is that a stretch? Not paranoid. It's being careful. Paranoid. That, that, All right, that, fine. That, Check that, it off. Check right. it off. <laughs> <laughs> Unable to feel remorse or guilt. Nah, it's the last it's thing you felt me. guilty about. It's not me at all. Um, I know you don't feel guilty when you let your wife sit down and sit with stomach pains and you write well, eat yeah, pizza. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't feel guilty. When about I'm it. done, bitch. Uh, <laughs> when I'm done. <laughs> it's my favorite topics. <laughs> um, check. So check. Are oh, sure check. <laughs> Authoritarian. I thought no, oh, no. that's the one yeah. check. No, he never. Well, you only have to have a certain. Sur- well, maybe at home you do wear the authority. She did pants. say you were screaming at her all the time. <laughs> Who does? <laughs> what married couple doesn't scream at each other? Give me a break. Mm, she Come was, on. She was she was quaking last time she came in here. She slipped mm. me a note under the table. Uh, did she scream <laughs> at you? Help! Help! <laughs> yeah, she, okay. yeah, she's yelled. She, what? Uh, so both, both are. What you don't? You've never screamed oh, I, at home. I, I, I can't. Yeah, I cannot. I cannot. T- right. I cannot okay. say that All would right. be a that would be a whopper. Okay. If I said that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, criminal or entrepreneurial versatility. Both. When he was selling those DVDs That's online, right. you were bootlegging DVDs on eBay. Mm-hmm. We were and loving it. No, no, no. <laughs> did I take any of that? You cut? dropped out. I dropped out. He, yeah, after he you are. I remember, I remember Walt was like, I'm no sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> An entrepreneur, too. Because you were like, you had a little cottage industry going. I'm not Kevin were, Smith out of business. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say you were, uh, I didn't say you dropped out as much as you were, um, I don't know. You forced like, him out? As much as uh, the door you cut, was. You fucking cut my percentage to nothing. Did he really? No. <laughs> no. But like he as was, much as the door was closed he on was you. T- how was it closed on me? I was supplying him with the with the fucking hard to find DVDs. Oh, I was like, look, I found another. Who? What's that company that made those those specials? What I offer? No, um, the the actual company that was producing this the Christmas specials. Rankin and Bass. Rankin and Bass. I was okay. finding you Rankin and Bass hard to find right, discs, right. and I was like, I don't want any part of it, right, but here, right. here, here you go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you got what you needed, though. You got a copy, a nice copy. But you were very entrepreneuristic sure, about that, sure. weren't you? I mean, he was, got, he was making covers for these DVDs. They were beautiful. That that put real companies to shame. Mm. Like, like if they actually were to release these DVDs today... They couldn't come up with a better. The companies were me. less upset about the bootlegging, and they were more like, "How do we get this guy?" <laughs> so check. All right, sure, check. Uh, has an emotional need to justify their crimes. 
<laughs> what crime? It's not out on DVD. Yeah. You can't get it if I don't give it to yeah, you. Who am I hurting? Nobody. <laughs> it's a victimless crime. Yeah, you I'm helping that, society. eBay make money. I make money. Who cares? Yeah. Everybody <laughs> make money. <laughs> it's come on. This kind of thing is in my blood, man. Like, come on. <laughs> You can't go to China and not. Uh, That's an pick emotional some- need to justify his crimes right there. Right. Holy shit. Check. Contemptuous of those who seek to understand them. Hmm. I guess like I, right I, now. I guess right now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure so. out what's going on inside this guy's head. So, what is the. Um what is the di- well, not diagnosis, but how what do is we the- fix them? Yeah, how do you, like, cure it? Let me see. <laughs> well, in The Sopranos, they, did they say Tony was a psychopath or they said he was a sociopath? And she was trying to treat him, and the other guy um, said that uh, wh- whoever her doctor right. was said, uh, y- you can't do it. What do you mean? Oh, you can't cure it? You can't. No, it's something that like it's like when you're young, something goes askew, and you're fucking – it's just the what way was it the, is. What, like, do you have any traumatic moments in childhood? Or is that like – that you can No, recall? not really. No? It's pretty normal. Were you like – were you – was a time I was locked in a box for six years. <laughs> <laughs> or you had the other kids treat you in school? Uh, you know, I was. You know, Did you get made fun of because you were Chinese or small? Yeah, oh sure. Did I you still really? get, still get made fun of. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. now more now than he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I had an ex girlfriend and uh, her half sister was Filipino, very pretty girl, and um, she was mocked relentlessly in grade school just for being Filipino. Why though? I don't know. Yeah. Wasn't really. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What's the? Uh, it, wasn't uh, it says no, but sadly. Before, yeah, I got made fun of my size. <laughs> for what? It doesn't start out good when it says sadly. <laughs> sadly, it's a, it's just it's neurological behavior. It's just hardwired. It can't be Don't curious. they say like up to three percent of the population? Or does it say it on there? I fucking hate to say this, dude, but there are times where I where I wonder if I have. You got some low grade sociopathy, I, I, and I'm not even joking. Like there are times in my life where I'm like, why don't I give a shit about this? Or why am I feeling nothing right now? Hmm. I don't know. You're at a table. Okay. I'm a, like I said, you're the only normal one at the I table. Know, well, yeah. person. At the table, on, on the block, <laughs> uh, in the state, in the country. Right. Well, here's some narcissism. On the continent. Things. Oversensitive temperament at birth is the main symptomatic chronic form. Uh, being praised for perceived exceptional looks or talents by adults. <laughs> didn't, you, didn't you say you were in baby baby beauty contests? You were no. a fucking baby model. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was the original Gerber baby. <laughs> Till your looks went. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what am I? They shook him at age like three. <laughs> <laughs> you never won any baby parades. No, not no. at all. Uh, excessive admiration that is never balanced with realistic feedback. See, now you got that feedback. You can't take it. Yeah, he's Cole very, Bauer fucking like, puts you in very, place. Very like, but you, isn't he very like like brand and fashion conscious? Oh sure. Like very, huge. your vanity <laughs> oh, knows yeah, no yeah, end. Yeah. Ter- I'm, I'm knows no end in, ter- in terms of like buying like expensive clothes and jewelry. You're, so oh. you don't mi- don't mistake vanity with like being good taste, uh, egoman, I, like having a, a huge ego. Being vain is like yes, totally like like making sure that that fucking Chinese no hair is all perfect. Yeah, no yeah, like it's always place. looking good. Right. Always looking good. You got a nice head of hair. You got a very stylish Michael Jackson coat going. You do, you do. You always you have buy, like you buy diesel t-shirts jeans. For like, like these, like, like not, not a normal shirts. t-shirt. Like they're like designer t-shirts. Correct? Yeah. Like my shirt was three ninety nine at Target. Eddie they're, Bauer. They're well made. They're well Eddie made. Bauer. They last me a long time. <laughs> You're going to want to back off. That. That's, <laughs> people aren't like, whoa, did you see the Eddie Bauer fucking fashion show? <laughs> Come on, you're, you're not above. <laughs> you're thinking of then. Uh, you're, you're not above you know, buying Kenneth a $40 Cole. t-shirt either. Kenneth so Cole. Let's not, don't look at me like I'm, uh, no, who's yeah, that he, one? he goes to Kohl's. Not Kenneth Kohl's, but regular Who? Kohl's. What, what did he say? <laughs> he said you're not above buying an expensive shirt. A $40 t-shirt either. So, I, But I did it only before to support my team. I knew they needed to pay Kobe's contract this year. So I was like, I'm <laughs> going to buy a $40. $40. Yeah. I would never buy a $40 t-shirt in a store though. Bro, okay. I got caught up because I'm, right, I'm at yeah. the Rock. Mm-hmm. You got caught up? Yeah, I got like caught up. Pulse you were showing some oh, emotion. Because yeah. I knew I had to buy, I wanted to buy something because I was like, I wanted to be like, hey, I was happy to be motherfucker. <laughs> Do you hate it when other people show emotion? No. Okay. <laughs> no, you like the way it looked. You're like, I would wear, I, I, I would wear this. Let's see here. Well, overindulgence and overvaluation by parents. Did now, you said your brother was sort of a bad egg, right? You were always the good one. And your brother I, I was, wouldn't say uh, that he's not a bad guy at all. No, not bad, but did he get in trouble as, more than you did. You, he, you were the, you, you were the, the good you boy. had to be the straight A student, right? 
Uh, I, I I did all right. Yeah. Were you the valedictorian? No. Really? I would have thought no, you were. No, absolutely not. How many people did you graduate with? Um, I don't know, four hundred maybe. Hmm. Honor roll. Uh, probably, yeah. You know. Come on, there's no problem. Yeah, either you, tell either the you are now. or you're on. <laughs> a long time ago. I, I did you all right. You don't forget that you're on the honor I did all right. I did all right. No, I see his report card hanging out of his back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? I don't, yeah, I think I was on the honor roll. Every yeah. year? Almost every year, yeah. I did all right in high school. Uh-oh. Severe emotional abuse in childhood. No. Who abused you? Nobody. Tell us, man. <laughs> <laughs> Where did they touch you? <laughs> Unpredictable, unpredictable or unreliable care giving from parents. His dick was so small when he was born, I thought he was a girl and tried to drown him like <laughs> yeah. they do in China. No. Shit. no. No. Valued by parents as a means to regulate their own self esteem. But what parent doesn't do that nowadays, though? Every parent's raising Severe a emotional path. abuse. <laughs> You're like, I'm in on that program. No, no, but like over, over, like telling, telling your kids. Oh, that, everything like you do is great. Oh, you're gonna, you're, yeah, you're awesome. You can do anything. You can't do anything. Stop right. telling your kids they can do anything because it's not, it's not true. It's really not true. It, it, do you tell your kids they can do anything? Um, no, my wife probably does more than I do. Mm. They could be like the president, shit like that. No, I haven't said anything. Because then it yet. sets them up to be like, well, if I could do anything, then why am I doing this then? Right. This is this is for a loser. That's yeah. what I was told. Right. That's why I refuse to work now. <laughs> I'm going to be <laughs> president. Love you and have a, a job. Yeah. I, I'd say I, with uh, with Sage, I'm constantly like I wonder sometimes if as she gets older, she'll get a big head. I always tell her how pretty she is and and that kind of stuff. Oh, who who looks so beautiful today? You know, like if she gets dressed up and she'll put her hands on her hips and do the like this hip swivel thing. She likes looking at herself in the mirror and brushing her hair out and shit. Creating a monster, bro. I know. I'm gonna have to go tell her she's a pile of crap. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you do? Your girls ever uh, ask if they could do anything that you consider unrealistic, but you you tell them they can do it anyway? Um, like they could be the cake. Well, I, I try to do it, break it to them so I, like gently. That's probably that's probably you're unrealistic. a girl. It's unrealistic. Really? Yeah. What what have they brought to you? Um, one of them was like, I want to. Uh, what was one of the one? I want to own something crazy. And I don't say you can't do it, but I'm just like, well, then you're you're gonna have to have either the unbelievable something amount of crazy, bankroll. <laughs> like their very own Ming. <laughs> 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 no, something crazy like a crazy business. No, like I want, I want ten mansions, uh, and, and like I want five, I want ten different cars, and I'm like, it's not, you know, it's, that's very typical of little kids, though. Yeah, I'm like you know, that's pretty unrealistic. You'd be lucky if you get one car. Mm-hmm. You know, Look at Johnson; he still hasn't managed it. <laughs> <laughs> I try to tell him gently, though. I don't tell him that like it's not going to happen, but you know, I don't also don't want to be like feed them like a bunch of horse shit that you know. Then when they get older, like, where's my mansions? Right. I, I know you. plenty of people that couldn't do shit. Oh my god! There's a lot. Most people nine can't out of do ten in, a, in our school couldn't do nothing, mm-hmm. and they're still doing nothing. Be cute. But, and, you and, and, could never be a mob boss. You're only half Irish. It's I mean, true. half uh, <laughs> Italian, rather. It's true, but I could run a gang. You could run a crew, like uh, no, no. I mean, name? like a street gang. Like I could do that because I don't give a shit about it. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, start a motorcycle, like, gang. like a singing type yeah. gang. Or? <laughs> 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 no, even the you're dudes, a jet, you're a even boy. the guys who were like who were like super popular and super like um, sought after. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, fuck them. Well, there's a guy. He was really good at. He was a very good athlete. It's crybaby, but great athlete, very good at like baseball, especially. And he made only made it to, I mean, only, but like yeah, the, well, I don't the, think this is a good example. A. <laughs> but it's like he wanted to be a major league baseball player, but he wasn't good well, enough. He made, but like he, he, but he became a professional athlete, though. Yeah, those guys though, those AAA guys, they're they don't they need like a part time job? They only make like fifteen grand yeah, a year. They don't make a ton of money. That, that's I like saying telling, I'm a fucking professional writer because I did a fucking eggs couple eggs comics. At the guy who fucking I'll made sling eggs, that cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> guy I graduated high school with played uh, soccer for the Red Bulls, and he was like, "Fuck, he made nothing. He really? made nothing. Yeah, 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 felt bad for him." I uh, I got Ming, a couple I, of I'm afraid to even be in the same room with Mingda. Yeah. Ming like now, I, I don't know said, what to do about equate, this guy. Don't equate that with like negative though. If anybody's going to take a positive a, out of it, it's him. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's like I think you hear that word. Everybody always jumps to like, oh my god, he's dangerous. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, 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 not no. at all. He's Love probably a sociopath. Right. Probably the greatest neighbor you'll ever have. Like a, a highly functioning sociopath. Are you a good neighbor, Ming? Uh, I, I keep to myself. To yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good neighbor. <laughs> of course. He would keep to himself. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's true. You don't want to give out any information. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not like Walt. Walt has fucking friends abound. Like his neighbors, he's always saying hi and exchanging Christmas gifts. And yeah. You're not like that? 
Not really. Well, I, you, you live know. in the ghetto a little bit, right? <laughs> no, I don't live in the ghetto. No? What? <laughs> <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, back to this guy. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, oh, okay. yeah, I'm laid back. I I'm pretty, you know, I greet everybody. I'm a pretty friendly guy. I so greet I'm, everybody. <laughs> I'm pretty, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm I pretty nice everybody. to everybody. I'm pretty nice to everybody. That's what I meant to say. So if you if, if you you have that much of a problem with me, then there, there's something off about you. Then so you think he's the fucked up one? Then you can't. Who, then who do you like if you don't like me? He told us he liked all. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, he did kind of say isn't who that, he liked. Isn't that point number six on the <laughs> list? Of, I'm sure it's in there. <laughs> Just, I mean, if you, yeah, it's if, if you have a problem there. with me, you should look at yourself. And um, there, there might be something off. Exactly there. what a sociopath would say. Yeah, you heard it here first. Cole Bauer. Ming says, "What do you say, Ming? Go fuck yourself." I'm pretty, fucking. I'm a nice guy. Yeah, pretty much. That's a good answer. Pretty much. Pretty much. What's the worst thing you ever did? Like, what's the one thing you look back and you're just, I can't believe I did that. I can't I mean, believe I, mean, I, I did think that. A sociopath, a socio, sociopath would have no regrets. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, so. you're right. I, these, <laughs> these, this line of questioning is not going to work with him. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that's his answer then. If you don't like Ming, who yeah, do you who, like? Who do you like? You just got to put in some more time, Ming, and then they'll like you. Put in some more time doing what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have all the answers. I'm just going to give a vague sort of answer and avoid guy contact. <laughs> so, uh, so Quinn, what do we got? How much longer on this um, this uh, contest? Oh, it'll be over by the time anybody hears this, I guess. Oh, really? Unless we want to extend it. Now, are we going to do it the Ming way where he never actually no, no, reveals no. or announces yeah, who why, the fucking can, winner why is? Why didn't you ever put that up? No, I'm not, I don't even care. Believe me, I don't care. But what was? why did you not just put that up? I'm just slow, man. That's beyond slow. That was like yeah, fucking I don't think five months slow. ago. I mean, that's a lie. That's that's a lie right here. You say you don't tell lies. Why really didn't you put it up? I, on, I just haven't whopper. had a chance to do it. How long would it take to put it up? Have you been keeping up with the blog? No, I haven't. Really? Unfortunately. I thought that was your fucking first love, too. This Red State's yeah, really no, fucking this, uh, taking up all your that's, time. That's not true, though, because Red State just came to the, to yeah, the forefront Red State, we got, uh, we got big changes coming in this podcast network. Whoa. We do? Really? Sure, yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> We're gone. <laughs> <laughs> what changes? Can you tease well, it? No, I can't. Double I, dose I, of I, puck nuts. I, tell him Steve Dave's <laughs> son. <laughs> it's been big nice change, podcasting, big boys. Cha- huge changes. Really? Huge. Uh, not, You'll I tell say, us off mic? I don't want to say changes, but additions. No, uh, oh, even more shit, shit to compete with us. No, no, we're all in the same boat. We're on the same. No, we're not. Oh man, we're on the same crew. Maybe you are. You There's that superficial. We're nonsense. already different from every from the podcasts. You know, right, we're, we're the outsiders. Well, we're on the East Coast. We're the outlaws. You know, the rebels. I don't know about the rebels, but <laughs> uh, but there's a there's like, a distance. Just, but you can cut it out. What's what's the big change? Yeah, I'll cut it out. Well, I'll tell you after. He doesn't <laughs> to the mic, yeah, you don't trust he him. Does it? Wow, man. Yeah, I'm curious. See, Ming's getting funkin' phone calls now, right? Yeah. Get get your um, ass back to work? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, poor Ming. Mm. Poor right. Ming. All right, dude. Well, we'll let you go. All right. Stay tuned. Smodcast.com. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you these pictures, too, Ming. You won't get home till 11 tonight. Uh, nice. Just good, right? She does. She looks real good. Mm-hmm. You took the pictures, though, so that's half you, too. I know. It's mostly me. <laughs> Thank you, Adam and Eve. See you later, man. See you later, man. See you later. Tomorrow night, Walt. Spider Man the musical. Oh, yeah? yeah. I heard it's getting violations. Okay. Uh, they, they got tickets and stuff, huh? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I can't Excited? wait. Oh, I can't wait. I just, I want someone to get beheaded on stage. <laughs> I just want to see Why a catastrophe. I just, yeah, I'm hoping people are falling thirty feet. I just want, I want some sort of catastrophe to take place. Okay, that that right there, that's worse than what Ming. Why don't you start fucking diagnosing, diagnosing this fuck? <laughs> now. Yeah, that's kind of weird. That you is kind of strange. Here no, go, I'm paying to see uh, something go horribly wrong. Another day, another Sean and Freud story related to the Spider-Man musical. They got hit with two labor violations stemming from all of the actors breaking bones. All of the actors. <laughs> And getting hurt during the show. That seems like a high percentage of actors just getting broken yeah, bones. <laughs> I can't wait. Seems like another negative small impediment to the show launching for real soon. As it you leaves. Us, At you, least it was written terribly. You'll give us the review. Complete review. Next week. Is next week our 52nd show? Next week will be the 52nd show. What do we do? How do we, how do we celebrate this occasion? This well, we're recording here. Here. Well, Sunday. Because we're going to go see Monster Magnet that night. Mm hmm. You check this out with Walt Flanagan? Yeah, Walt's okay it. All right. Yeah. 
what we should. It'll be just like it. It'll. Be, it'll <laughs> unfortunately, the effort doesn't look like it's going to be there, but because we're doing the same exact thing we did every every week, like the Valentine's Day announcement. <laughs> Maybe we can at the last minute. <laughs> a metaphorical box of chocolates. We um, we should have some people in. We should let five lucky people in. No, it's Six, Sunday night. No, two couples. No, no, no. We're not. Gonna, I'm not open on Sunday night though to do it. That's yeah, I know you're not. Yeah. No, let them sit right there. What the fuck? We're here every week. Nobody comes. What? Why is everybody going to come for that? <laughs> oh, because we never announce when we're doing it. All right. Well, you heard it. Walt, shut it down. Well, what about um? <laughs> tell them, Steve, Dave. Hey, it's Brian again, and I wanted to tell you about a bonus pod we are doing for Puck Nuts. Now, lest you think it's going to be a boring old Puck Nuts show with boring old Sunday Jeff and boring old Ming, and to a lesser extent, boring old Walt, we are also going to have BQ on it. We will be unveiling a new game from Walt. Ming has volunteered to do another One True Three. Uh, we're going to be talking about our favorite sports movies, the sports movies we hate, favorite sports moments, as if I even have one, and uh, a bunch of really cool stuff. Now, in order to get this, you're supposed to order a calendar or donate or something like that to a hockey team down in Miami, uh, but we're going to extend this offer to TESD listeners. It's going to be five bucks that you will PayPal to TESD charity at gmail.com. 100% of the proceeds are going to go to the Faxon Animal Rescue League of Fall River. It's an animal clinic, a wellness clinic that my friend Jill works at. She's a veterinarian there. They donate their time to help homeless and abandoned animals. They uh, need the money to get a new washer and buy blankets and food and supplies for the operations, which are free. Real good place, and they do a lot for the animals. Uh, five bucks to TESD charity at gmail.com, and you'll go on the list to get this special podcast, and your money will go to help these animals. We've helped some vets, we've helped some uh, special needs kids, and uh, now it's the now it's the pets' turn. Hundred percent of the money will go to the pets. Don't worry, we'll take over. We won't let it be hockey centric. Me and Walton Quinn will fucking. Crap all over Ming. Fucking toss him to the side and do what we want to do. Come on now. If you're a completist, you know you got to do it. Okay, speaking of going TV shows, um, you ever hear of Cake Boss? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I took a ride up to the Cake Boss's uh, bakery this weekend. Where is it? Coboken. Yeah? Yeah. Saw one of the Cake Bosses. Who wanted to go? My kids. Yeah, because they're real into, like, bacon. Mm-hmm. Not well. baking, ba- like baking cooking. cookies and shit, yeah, right? right? Well, they said bacon. Yeah, they're very into <laughs> slaughtering hogs and getting the primest cuts. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah, they, they're into cooking. It's unbelievable, man. We it took I guess how long it took to get inside of a bakery. People standing outside. Forty five minutes. Longer. Whoa. Jesus. Waiting in line for over an hour to get inside a bakery. And then when you get inside, you, it's so crowded inside, you can't even see the wares. You can't even see what's on the shelves. Dude, think about that foot traffic here. Yeah, I know. Comic boss. <laughs> Walt Flanagan. <laughs> <laughs> are the cake bosses mean or? On the show? No, yeah. they're like lovable. Like, oh, they're, they're like, they know what they're, they're doing, like but they all, but they have, to, but it's all. Top show asshole. It's all like, you fucked up, Vinny. We got to start over now. And Vinny's like, well, you didn't tell me, yeah. other cake boss. <laughs> it was supposed to be a baseball mitt. <laughs> <laughs> Not a basketball hoop. I don't know what's oh. with this guy. Come on. Come on, other cake boss. <laughs> like, tell me some slack. You like, got me working hard. There's one 65, 70-year-old boss that comes out of the out of the back room, and he's one that's on the show. Mm-hmm. And everybody in the room is just like, pop, 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 taking pictures, like, take a picture of me, take a picture of me. And it's just like, if this was any other baker in any other bakery. He's a baker. Don't forget. He's a fucking baker, you, you guys. You wouldn't even care. <laughs> you wouldn't even look at this guy twice. You'd be like, ew. Hurry ew, up with that cupcake ew, castle. Get away from me. He's baking my stuff? You would, yeah, you wouldn't His even, fingernails are falling off in my you fucking wouldn't even put baseball your, mitt dough? You wouldn't put your arm around him to fucking pat him out, pat him down if he was on fire, let alone put your arm around him for a picture. <laughs> 
And these people are going, even my daughter's just like, oh, I want to get a picture with him. I'm like, I'm not asking him. If you want a picture with him, go ahead. You ask him. I'm not going to go over there and be like, take a picture because he's a fucking baker. All right. So no pictures with the girls? They, she didn't have the balls to go over and ask. Who, uh, Alicia or Kate? Caitlin. Kate. Her one well brush with stardom and fucking. No. I was I'm more famous than fucking Kate Boss. I was like, going to be. <laughs> <laughs> like, because it's like, I know her. Going to be. She's not going to give a fuck halfway home. <laughs> well, no, I know her. Like, she wouldn't care about it. If that baker, right. you could care less about his, how good a baker he was. That's the Atlanta Collins baker, TV. and yeah. it should taste three times as good. Yes, you no wouldn't. Pictures. Ca- no pictures. Right. Trying to teach her a life lesson. Yeah. Cool. Plus, if you want hey, man, I'm fucking happy for you that she's like, oh, Cake Boss, not like, oh, my God, Snooky's so awesome. <laughs> It's so – even the cake boss is so brutally like – I can't believe this is – like he's got like five shows. It's like really? he's, a, he's just a megastar. Yeah. And they just make involved cakes. It's like it's very involved. They're, the cakes are spectacular right. but um, but the – it's the other stuff that just drives me out of my head. It's like um, like his little interviews in between like what, the, what, what they're making. Yeah, it's like these this like completely bad acting like um, – they want to give me a key to the city. Me. Just an average baker from Hoboken. <laughs> you know, it's just like, sh- oh my god, Can you god, believe it? I up. bake cupcakes and cookies. <laughs> the other day I said, hey, I'm baking and some fucking jerk off's like, hey, we didn't come here for fucking pork. And I'm like, no, not bacon. <laughs> what a gruff bastard he was. <laughs> Just the the like he's like he amps it up so high. Uh, his right. eyes his eyes when he's doing his little things are look like they're like he's actually seen a ghost on like on the fucking Bowery Boys seen a ghost, you know? <laughs> like <laughs> he's talking to the camera trying to like be like like everything, no matter how mundane uh-huh. is like said with like it's the most like Right, it's Hectic unbelievably. Schedule. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they really gotta amp up the fucking dramatics and shit. I guess <laughs> we got a bigger cake for the polar bear club. And you know what? I never jumped in the water at, at thirty-five <laughs> degrees minus zero. I'm gonna do it. I don't care what my mom says. It's just like I thought so. you said it was seventy. Yeah, his mom. Yeah, his mom's like ninety. <laughs> so it's like she's like, "You're not jumping in that water, you stupid ass." It's oh, just really? like, oh my god. Just show me a nice cake. <laughs> show me an involved cake. His pupils are all fucking dilated from all that sugar and shit. He's probably like inhaling cane sugar all fucking day. But I mean, say just, just show me a nice cake. <laughs> yeah, just show me like an involved cake. I don't need to hear your your nonsense, your bullshit. For like, it's a fifth variation of the show I watch this week. I want to see a cake. God damn it! No, no, the cakes are insane. Yeah. Like, I mean, a, a cake the size of a car. Oh, really? Yeah. It's supposed to look like a car How and shit. How fuck do they bake? I guess they put it together like they yeah. bake little cakes and put it together. <laughs> That's why they're the cake boss, bro. But I swear one day he must make on a, that Sunday probably easily over 100 grand yeah. and selling in sweets and shit. Did you guys buy stuff to eat? Oh, yeah. Well, well, I'm not going to fucking go there. I saw people go in there and walk out with nothing after mm-hmm. waiting an hour. I don't care. That's That to me is ludicrous. Who does that? Who waits an hour just to walk into the store? God damn it. Even if I don't want anything, I'm buying something. I'll give it to somebody. <laughs> then. I'm not going to wait in line and just walk around and be like, oh. And when you tasted it, would you like, that's why he's the boss? I didn't eat it. Oh, you didn't? I don't like cake stuff. Mm-hmm. It's too rich. The girls? The girls ate it. They were like, this is the best this, Yeah, they were like, yeah, I'm like, you're full He's shit. the boss of you, dad. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Stop saying that. <laughs> uh, we've been recording. I mean, if you want to start, I can do this. Oh, okay.